Sorcerer, pick up Urza at the start author. Big Knife, Chapter 76, 3 seconds, second kill, for flowers, straight line formation, knowing that time waits for no one, Bixlow immediately manipulated the puppets on top of each other. The crescent chopper shoots out of its mouth, too slow, Dieter slanted to avoid the crescent chop, watching Bixlow start to count the time, 3 seconds, Dieter stretched out 3 fingers, what, Bixlow questioned in anger, Dieter continued, 3 seconds is enough to kill you, start now, damn it, Bixlow angrily manipulated the puppet to attack Dieter immediately, about to tear him to pieces, exclamation mark. Dieter's figure disappeared instantly, before Bixlow could react, he felt that Dieter's body had come behind him, and immediately turned to avoid it, it's useless, Dieter's unwavering tone sounded, three zeros hands stretched out like tiger claws, and quickly clasped Bixlow's arms and shoulders, pulled down to lock his arms behind him, the first trick I will break your spine, you can still live with timely treatment, Dieter said, with a sharp pull with both hands, Bixlow's upper body was thrown back, while Dieter immediately raised his knees and hit him, Dede, cough cough, Bixlow coughed up a lot of blood, and screams permeated all around, his spine was shattered, it's not over yet, Dieter continued, like a cold, emotionless killer, next up are the arms, the voice fell, Dieter's hands twirled suddenly, yesterday's taste tilde, ugh, Bixlow's arms ripped apart at a deformed angle, and his scream became more intimidating, the severe pain in his body was beyond his valve, the emergency escape of the brain caused him to fall into a state of dizziness, puff, Dieter released Bixlow, who fell to the ground like mud, the upper body and lower body face each other up and down as if torn apart, those arms were like clumps of rotten meat, folded together, Bixlow, Bixlow what's wrong with you, Freed and Evergreen also flew quickly from not far away, and immediately called out when they saw the bleak appearance of Bixlow on the ground, the spine is broken, the bones of both arms are broken, and it is impossible to be an ordinary person, Dieter's words were thunderous, Freed and Evergreen's faces were pale, their legs were weak, and their eyes were red as they looked at Bixlow, who was on the ground, and opened their mouths to say something, let Belusica in the eastern forest heal, and there is hope for recovery, and now give you a chance, Evergreen takes Bixlow away to heal, and by the way unravel Azza and their petrification, if they don't agree, the three of Thor in the fairy tale guild will die from today, Dieter said, hiss, Freed and Evergreen both gasped, feel the cold killing intent, I also understand that Dieter's words can't be fake at this moment, okay, Evergreen agreed without thinking at all, rushing to save Bixlow is the most important reason, and also killing them like slaughtering dogs with Dieter's combat power, don't give any chance at all, it is said that there are two paths, but there is only one option of obedience, don't blame me for being ruthless, Lagosas is stunned, can't you see that as his guards, you must understand that before you became the Lagos guards, you were members of the fairy tale guild, Dieter explained, Evergreen and Freed were silent, the former did not say a word after thinking about it, and took Bixlow to leave quickly to prepare for treatment, that leaves Freed and Dieter facing off, you are not too old, you are my peers, I proved five years ago that I am the eldest brother of my peers, as a younger brother, your mistake is my big dereliction of duty, so then you end up the same as Bixlow, broken bones all over your body, and then lie in a hospital bed for a while, take your strongest stance and attack me, Dieter spoke quietly, although there is the suspicion of being on the line, it is indeed appropriate to say such words on this occasion, okay, Freed knew that facing Dieter alone was a surefire outcome, I don't expect to be able to escape from Dieter's hands, simply overcome difficulties and swing a sword towards Dieter, even if they lose, they have self-respect, at the same time, after Dieter and Bixlow faced off, the battle information was updated in the guild and in front of Lagosas, Dieter vs Bixlow, Makruf is watching with Gajil and Natsu, Dieter is amazing, found Bixlow so quickly, Natsu was excited, yet Makruf was just about to speak, the battle information on the spell has been updated, Dieter vs Bixlow, Bixlow is dying, Dieter wins, hiss, after seeing this information, the three of them gasped, dying, this kid Dieter is too insignificant, there can't be a death case, Makruf worried, Gajil grinned sincerely and said sarcastically, then Lugasus is obviously playing with fire, if you provoke anyone, you have to provoke him, this is good, the Thors are dead, the information above also reminded Gajil of the tragedy when he attacked Fairy Tail, really almost died, it's okay, Dieter won't kill our comrades, Natsu retorted, Makruf didn't speak, his heart gradually sank, dying, I'm afraid it's not going to die, someone's coming, Gajil said, Makruf and Natsu looked over and saw Evergreen who was coming, Dieter asked me to come over to unravel the petrochemicals, and then go to the eastern forest, Miss Chingpul Yuzuka, in a hurry to stay out of the way, Evergreen said, put down the dying Bixlow, and at the same time untangle the petrification of Urza and others, and leave, ha ha ha, I just said Dieter won't kill our comrades, Natsu laughed, Makruf did not speak, but he was really relieved, 
and he was really worried that someone would be killed by Dieter. Inside the church, Lagosas was in a fidgety mood. Second kill. That guy Dieter really didn't make it. 1.1 Lagosas face was dark, and Bixlow's dying state made him upset. Although he is gruel, but he attached great importance to the Thors. At this moment, someone was dying, and his heart could not be quiet. He wanted to fight in place of Thor and Dieter immediately, so as not to put the lives of the other two Thors in danger. Dieter vs. Freed. The new battle situation update, Lagosas is more worried. In confrontation, Freed looked for opportunities to attack. Three seconds on Bixlow, I don't know how long you can last, Dieter said. Freed didn't dare to answer. There is some kind of plan in my heart, and I don't plan to take it hard. Wing. Freed waved the weapon in his hand, and several dark words appeared on his body. A pair of wings stretched out from behind him and flew towards the rear with him without a word, as if he wanted to escape. Chapter 77, Dieter vs. Freed. Win. Ha ha. Dieter chuckled and burst out with strength to chase Freed, and he could indeed kill him in seconds. But this Freed seems to have some weird ideas. This made Dieter want to follow along to see what he was going to do. One after another, one chasing and one running. The distance between the two was deliberately controlled by Dieter, enough that he could catch up with a sprint. Are you still going to keep running? Dieter continued to chase. He was not in a hurry at all. Because Freed was running in the direction Lagosas was, just to save some time. After hearing the words, Freed stopped suddenly and stood at a distance from Dieter as if waiting for something. Dieter stepped forward. After reaching a certain distance, the raised foot also retracted. With a playful smile on his face, you are waiting for me to step in, there are techniques here. Freed remained silent. Yes, just in front of Dieter is a spell barrier, and it's a fairly targeted spell. Just didn't expect Dieter to find out. I thought you had some great tricks, but it turned out to be like this. To be honest. I'm quite disappointed. Dieter shook his head. Seeing that the color is on, he can predict the danger ahead. Therefore, there is no middle plan to enter the surgery. It looks like it's impossible to solve you with a spell, and there is a reckless fight. Freed regretted. According to his idea, the only thing he can rely on to defeat Dieter is 25 spells. It was because of the spell that he was running around with Dieter, seeing to be fooled or being seen through. Come on, don't use these little tricks or anything. Dieter moves muscles and bones. Severe pain. Freed sees the opportunity to use dark text and the spell that represented severe pain quickly shot over. It's useless. Dieter didn't need to be afraid at all. He turned his body a little to avoid the spell. Terror. Pain. Death. Freed immediately used all other spells without hesitation, and dark texts attacked Dieter. Did the SLR be touched by one of them? Enough to get into trouble. How Freed wanted that to happen. Unfortunately, no matter how fast the dark text was, it couldn't hit Dieter. Those spells were easily avoided by Dieter. Dark text middle dot darkness. Freed's one eye turned black and he swung the knight's sword down again, this time the dark text didn't hit Dieter, rather, it fits the body into the body. That moment, the magic power on Freed's body sword, an evil aura emanated from his body, the ground beneath his feet was shaken out of cracks, and the gravel was ground into dust by the terrifying magic power. That's fun, Dieter smiled and shot, arching his waist, the ground beneath his feet exploded, and the crater was broken open by the explosive force. The big pothole is like a compass cracked with spider patterns, before the rubber fruit points are full. Dieter can perfectly control the power in the body, no matter how much he hits, the power will not spread to the wall or the ground. But after the rubber fruit's ability is full, he has been unable to control the power perfectly. No matter how much he exerts his power, a lot of power will be released, resulting in inevitable damage. Dieter rushed out, rubbing Freed with his right fist. After the magic power in the latter's body condensed frantically, the whole person turned into a dark demon, and no human figure could be seen in the hideous body. Roar. He roared and raised his fist and slammed into Dieter. Boom dash. The earth shattered, and the power of the two people spread to the ground, squeezing the area they were in into a large circular pit. Gravel is everywhere. The fists of the two collided, and the aftermath danced the windows of the surrounding houses. Brilliant. The glass was shattered. Their battle inevitably led to chaos all around Zoot Boom. The power of follow-up broke out again. The bodies of the two were overturned, the ground was ravaged by Pear's debut, and Dieter's long sleeves were also shattered by the aftermath, revealing his muscular biceps. Amazing, Dieter complimented without sorrel. The strength of the three Thors, of which Freed is the strongest, is mainly the state of this pair of demons. Being able to tear Dieter's sleeves to shreds is also enough to show how good he is. Dieter really can't beat the demon Freed if he doesn't enter the second gear. Roar, Freed growled again. His hands were raised above his head, and a dark ball of light was brewing. It's not fun to zoom in directly, Dieter complained. The arm pumped, immediately entered the second gear state, instantly increased speed and strength and beat Freed violently. Dark light bullet. The dark magic bullet was thrown out, and the attack speed was very slow, but it was not to be underestimated. Dieter didn't want to bump into it either. Immediately flash away and avoid the dark light bullet. Boom boom boom. The dark light bullet was obviously extremely powerful, and after being dodged by Dieter, 
It also landed on the ground on the street, exploded. The terrifying destructive power exploded in an instant, and a large ball of dark tones appeared on the entire street. It was like an upside down bowl exploded, and a huge explosion wave blew away the open windows of every household. Almost all the houses near the light bomb are gone. Fortunately there were no casualties. It's going to kill you if you delay it any longer, so let's end it quickly. Looking at the aftermath of the extremely destructive power, Dieter Manmai gave up his plan to continue to play. Too powerful magic would accidentally injure the residents. It is better to solve it quickly. Do not. Dieter came to Freed's eyes using the instant system. His hands clenched into fists with white steam on his body. His eyes no longer had the playful look he had before, and he was earnestly preparing to end the battle. Rubber jet machine gun dash. Both hands hit Freed without a shadow. The fist slammed on his body, and there was a crackling sound. Freed's pupils widened to withstand the rain like impact. His fists brought him severe pain. The bones in his body were constantly humming and screaming and each fist made him feel the pain of concentration. Ah, uh, Freed couldn't help exclaiming anymore. The demon's body could only be transformed into a pure sandbag and was constantly bombarded, and the bones of the whole body were under the attack of the storm. The bones on his body were broken one by one, one or two, three, four or five, and the bones all over the body were broken in a large area. That unique fist showed no sign of stopping pain. The severe pain in his body made him want to breathe because of the injuries on his body. Clap clap clap, boom. The offensive for several minutes finally stopped, and the unique final blow landed on Freed. At this moment, the Freed in front of Dieter's eyes had turned into a blood man. He fell to the ground without knowing whether to live or die. Within the guild, Dieter versus Freed. Freed is dying, Dieter wins. Also dying, it is still to solve the opponent in a very short time. Macruff looked at the current information and his face became heavy. Dieter seemed to be far more powerful than he thought, and even today's Dieter seemed to be very ruthless. Now that's Lagosa's, Gagiel said. It's not hard for him to think that Freed's state will definitely not be very good, and he also thinks that Lagosa's is very unlucky. If it's bad to provoke someone, you have to deal with Dieter. Now just wait till it's over. Is Freed going to be sent back soon, too? Natsu asked. Macruff looked at Evergreen, who also nodded and turned away to get Freed back. Hopefully Erzak can find Lagosa's before Dieter. Otherwise the results of Lagos's will not be very good. Macruff sighed. Two are dying. The mastermind, Lagos's, may also be dying. Even if Lagos's is older and stronger, the growth rate is still much slower. There's no way he's going to be Dieter's match. Even if he tried his best, he couldn't win. And the final result was likely to be lying in the hospital for a long time with Thor. Oh, I really want to participate, Fairy Tail's strongest wizard. Natsu slapped the technique in front of him. Angrily speaking. Watching Dieter slaughter the quartet and tickle his teeth with envy. Cathedral. Lagosa sat on the steps and looked at the dazzling death, with endless anger and some regret in his heart. If it weren't for him, it might not have happened to Thor. Available soon. This feeling of regret was immediately buried. With red eyes, he said angrily, Dieter, I will definitely tear you apart, so that you only know who is the strongest magician of fairy tale. Zizi Tilda. Raiden also rioted because of his anger. Destroy the surrounding buildings. Chapter 78. No, absolutely impossible, Dieter. While Dieter was guarding Freed, Erza also chased after him from a distance and hurriedly greeted him. He was also startled when he saw Freed covered in blood on the ground. Is it scary? Dieter asked. Do you think I'm cruel and cruel? Erza remained silent. She didn't speak, but she could see that it was indeed cruel. Considering the close relationship between the two, they didn't say those hurtful words. Although Freed looked miserable, he was still breathing, indicating that he was still alive. Maybe. Dieter looked in the direction of the cathedral. Only as the eldest brother of the guild's peers, Dieter just felt that it was necessary to establish his prestige, and the Thors and Lagosas who were trying to hurt their comrades should indeed teach them a lesson. The attack was indeed a bit ruthless, but Dieter was merciful. Otherwise, using his current strength to target Freed with a six-style profound truth, the Six King's Spear, he would be able to shatter his internal organs directly, and he would not be able to save him at that time. Of course, he didn't even explain. However, after today's battle, it can be regarded as a wake-up call for all members of the guild to let them understand the price of hurting their comrades. Erta, uh, Dieter, I'm here to bring Freed. Evergreen also flew over from a distance, seeing the miserable Freed and worried that he would die because of the slow treatment. Dieter waved, well, let's go. Evergreen hurriedly left with Freed. Stay away from this scene, for fear that Dieter will suddenly attack her, and she will really die by then. Just like says, Dieter said. He walked towards the cathedral with his hands behind his back. Erta, uh, who was behind him, didn't say a word and just followed quietly, obviously thinking of going with Data to find Lagosas. Data stopped outside the cathedral, pushing open the door and looking at the Lagosas inside. The Thors have all been defeated. Evergreen is a woman and I didn't touch her, so your game is entering the end stage, so let's concede early, or I'll really have no measure and I'll crush you, Data said. Lagosas was relieved to see Data, 
and wondered if it was because Evergreen had escaped the catastrophe. After hearing his words, his face became solemn. This is bad news. Without the petrochemical people, the old man will never let him out of the guild, so he must think of another way. Ah, uh, uh, do you really think this is the end? Lagosas looked at Data with a crazy expression on his face and a wanton laugh. That's when he started his speech, since Evergreen also lost. Let's start the backup plan, and now add new rules because of the rules change. Lagosas stop here. You can't win unique. Urza scolds. Blue veins exploded. Lagosas shouted angrily with red eyes. Impossible. I will never lose to him. It was just my mistake five years ago. If he left for five years, I would have defeated him long ago. He is crazy. Crazy swear of their own strength. Before proving that he is not weak now, he only needs one more game to win. Defeat Dieter, who has shadowed him for five years. I didn't expect you to hold grudges for five years, but unfortunately you are doomed to fail. You don't understand what fairy tale is let alone the bond between companions. I don't want to continue the nonsense, don't you just want to fight with me and then bring shame, come on, show your strength to your heart's content, let me bring you the despair of the top five again, Dieter said, Zizzy, stab stab Tilda. The thunder and lightning became more and more violent, and the arc spread all over the cathedral, lurking, ready to obey the edict to give Dieter a thunderous blow. I have activated the Shenming Temple, and after another thirty minutes, the Shenming Temple's attack will cover the entire city, mercilessly destroying everything in the city, Ha 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 Tilda. Lagos's became more and more mad, and he laughed up to the sky and made a sinister laugh. The Temple of God. Urza widened his eyes and scolded, Lagos's. Do you want to involve all the innocent people? In the Temple of Gods, each magic crystal ball carries a very powerful amount of magic lightning. Once they erupt, they will bring endless destruction to the entire city. The huge city will also be destroyed by the lightning, and everything will be wiped out. Residents of the city and those who come to visit will die without a place to be buried. Maybe. Lagos's sneered looking at Urza and Dieter and said without showing weakness, there are only thirty minutes, unless you beat me, the whole city will be wiped out, Lagosos can't handle that much anymore, he just wanted the old man to give up the position of the guild's president, otherwise the sacrifices of the thunder gods would be in vain, now it is imminent, just need to wait to get the status of the president, you're really going too far, Dieter shook his head helplessly, his eyes became more and more cold, and he confronted him, thirty minutes, you look too high on yourself, you don't need that long. You are very strong now, but unfortunately I am stronger. Dash. Moment. Overlord's color erupted again, and this time Dieter to use the shock and deterrence only for Lagosas. In an instant, the air eyed is agitated. A solemn aura vibrated towards Lagosas' soul. Like momentary effort, even Lagosas felt as if a large hand was pinching his throat, making it difficult for him to breathe and his brain was showing signs of hypoxia. Arrive. Avoid. The body can't stand so steady. Under the impact of this momentum. Lagosa's body involuntarily took two steps back and his face became more and more ugly. You dot 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 you bastard. Lagza stammered when he spoke, and the unbelievable look in his eyes could be seen at a glance. The momentum made him feel powerless. It seems that what he is facing is not his fellow guildmates, but this vast and boundless world, as if being targeted by the world is terrifying. The momentum made him feel hopeless. The kind of despair that is powerless to return to the sky and has long been set to lose. Horrible. Too terrifying. Lagosa's glared at Data with gritted teeth unable to imagine that the aura emanated from Dieter, slash slash. Lagos's was furious, and his angry roar broke through the momentum that was being held down in his heart. Negative emotions such as powerlessness and despair are instantly broken. Thunder and lightning filled the entire Tangong, and bursts of thunder crashed down, knocking out various potholes of different sizes on the ground of the cathedral. The whole church is in disarray. Lagos's also suppressed his unease and attacked Dieter with unyielding anger. Thorn Lalatilda, thunder and lightning accompany him left and right and he controlled the violent lightning to hit Dieter. I am the strongest, Lagza roared, and the thunder and lightning became more violent because of his emotions, and the violent thunder and lightning continued to roar. One after another hit Dieter's body. Okay okay, Dieter. Seeing Dieter drowned by lightning, Urza cried out in surprise, and prepared to rescue Dieter with a weapon. Need not. During the thunderbolt, Dieter, who was covered by the violent thunderbolt, refused, calmly walked out of that thunderbolt, except for the tattered clothes on his body, nothing has changed, how can it be, Lagosas asked angrily, his thunderbolt didn't cause even the slightest harm to Dieter, it would be fine if Dieter escaped, but, Dieter was obviously attacked from the front, and the clothes on his body also proved that he was really hit by lightning just now, but it had no effect at all, what exactly is going on, how come, you, Urza was also stunned, she also saw the unique without evading, and she was facing the boundless thunder and lightning of Lagosas, but now he has no injuries at all, although the clothes on his body are tattered. The exposed skin slash one slash is not even scratched. How could it be possible? Chapter 79. In less than five minutes, you are defeated. Thank you for the monthly ticket sent by looking back, 
Dieter raised an eyebrow and smiled without saying a word. In my heart, I also like the ability of the rubber fruit very much, as expected. It is immune to thunder type attacks. The series of thunderbolts that Lagosas had just now were ordinary thunderbolts. Lightning that has not condensed into a form is indeed completely immune to the special effects of the rubber fruit ability. Can you believe it? I'm immune to lightning. Dieter's words suddenly made Lagosas feel different. He never believed in such a thing. How could anyone be immune to the thunder and lightning of nature? Totally impossible. Thunder and angry waves. Lagosas attacked in anger, and a large number of thunder and lightning clouds gathered above Dieter's head and the black clouds flickered with boundless thunder and lightning. Kaka. Then he plummeted in anger, crashing straight down on Dieter. He was going to use thunder and lightning to defeat him, and he never believed that Dieter could be immune to the unreasonable things like thunder and lightning. Boom plus. That thunder annihilated Dieter's figure. He was drowning in the astonishingly powerful lightning, the power of which even shattered Dieter's feet, smashed the stone floor, and smashed the soil into a black reef. Erta, who was behind the terrifying thunder, was terrified, for fear that Dieter would be seriously injured by the detached lightning, his eyes were locked on the position where Dieter was standing, same, the ferocious lags also stared at him, he didn't believe that Dieter was immune to lightning, but he was still very worried about 323, and stared at Dieter to get the result he wanted, I said, the lightning was only a moment, and Dieter's figure appeared unscathed, if it weren't for the dilapidated scene on the ground, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to believe what kind of thunder and lightning power Dieter endured just now, Thunderbolt doesn't work for me. Dieter drank it, stepped out with his lower limbs, broke through the charred ground, and attacked Lagosas with great speed. Lagosas was shocked that Dieter was immune to lightning, but it wasn't too rude, and when he saw Dieter's attack, he immediately rushed out. Boom. The two collided instantly. The aftermath stirred up a lot of rubble, and no one backed away. Lagosas fist trapped this boundless thunder and lightning crazy punches. Dieter instantly entered the second gear and covered his fists with armed colors. Not to be outdone. Lagosas trembled, bang 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 dash, from the visible figure to the invisible figure, from a collision on the ground to a battle in the air, instant snap, neither of the two made any extra moves, and used the most powerful force to keep hitting each other, the cathedral broke open, the figures of the two people are still missing, it seems that the two groups of energy are constantly shattering, residents of the city are puzzled, what's going on over there, seems to be the direction of the cathedral, is fairy tale setting off fireworks, who knows, the two things will also emit electric light when they touch each other, Maybe it's really going to start fireworks. Anything other than fireworks, could it be two people in everyone? Ha 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 Tilda. Residents watched carefully. I didn't feel that the two groups of things that seemed to be energy were humans, and they were fighting without leaving any room. Air. Eh. After another collision, Lagosas put his hands in front of him. Zhao Gang Tsai mustered the thunder and lightning that was brewing with unexpected power. Trouble. Dieter murmured that his attacks were all melee, but no ranged. Fourth gear stretch man dash. Dieter, who had no choice could only enter fourth gear and use stronger physical strength to fight. Roar of the Thunder Dragon. Lightning gathered in his lungs, and he puffed out his chest and opened his mouth. Rubber Ape King Gun. Dieter entered the fourth gear, his fists stretched and stretched layer by layer, and the pair of roaring thunderbolts blasted past. Fortunately, the armed color domineering can also be confronted with magic. Otherwise, Dieter can't attack Thunderbolt with this move, and everything will be over. Boom. Sonic boom. Both the Thunder Dragon's roar and the Ape King's spear carry powerful destructive powers. After the two collided, they exploded in the air instantly. The sound of the explosion was like a sonic boom, which was deafening. The aftermath of the explosion was even more violent, uncontrollably swept around. A large number of residents who were watching the lively were unable to walk due to this unusually strong wind. Residents close to the cathedral were even able to cling to nearby buildings to protect against the wind. Ha ha ha. So you are not immune to lightning. Lagosas rushed forward, raising his fists with unconcealed ecstasy in his eyes. He also found out that Dieter was not immune to lightning attacks. Dieter raised an eyebrow. The body sank rapidly to prevent Lagosas from taking the opportunity to attack. The face of Thunder Dragon Dash. The thunder and lightning gathered in his fists and tried his best to move towards the top of Dieter's head, which was bound to kill him with one blow. You are too arrogant. Dieter sarcastically. The body did not endure this move by Lagosas, but took advantage of the strength to retreat making Thunder Dragon's forehead empty. Dieter raises his right fist high again in layers. When the fist is compressed in, immediately open the mouth and continue to blow into the arm. The shrunken arm instantly became bigger. Rubber Great Ape King Gun. Dieter strikes with a bang. The enhanced version of the Ape King Gun brings more powerful power, as well as more terrifying hardness and faster speed. Once hit, it will definitely knock down Lagosas. I am the strongest. Lagosas roared raising his hands as if he was holding something. A large amount of thunder and lightning took shape in his hands. In an instant, a Fangshin halberd composed of lightning appeared, and the formed Fangshin halberd exuded the ultimate edge. It seems that all objects will be pierced by it. 
Thunder Dragon Fang Danji. Attack out. Lagos is through the square halberd formed in his hand and aimed it at Data's Great Ape King's spear. Seems to want to win and loose in power and destructive power. What? Ugh. The collision broke out again, and the fist of the Great Ape King's spear touched the tip of Fang Danji. Thunder and lightning are spreading wildly. There is a magic factor that exceeds the standard in the air, and it seems that there will be a space crack at the intersection of the two collisions. Brown. Flavor flavor. The Fang Tanji of Lagosas was outrageously strong, and no one could compete with it, but unfortunately it was dieter, and the armed color on his fist was enough to withstand a big blow. After a stalemate for a moment, the Fang Tanji slowly cracked. Do not. Lagosas roared unwillingly. But the Fang Tanji was smashed to pieces and the Great Ape King's spear continued to move forward with a menacing momentum. Lagosas has been unable to continue. Arms with dragon scales and stripes crossed and placed in front of him lived with the strength of the Great Ape King's spear. Boom. Lagosas couldn't gather his strength in the air. Even though his attack power and speed were further improved by blowing up the dragon scales, it would be somewhat useless. It was shot down directly from the sky by the Great Ape King's spear. Fall towards the ground. But Data didn't stop there. The legs are stacked in successive layers until they are fully retracted within the body. Rubber Rhino Howitzer. Out loud. Those legs exploded with unprecedented speed. Piercing the air and hitting Lagosas in the body again. Rushing towards the cathedral. Boom boom dash. The roof of the cathedral shattered and another large hole was broken open. Data's feet pinned Lagosas to the ground. And blood spurted out of his mouth. Eyes blood red and eyes widened. His energy and spirit also shrank not as imposing as before, and there was not much magic left in his body. Dieta fell from the sky. Take a deep breath and exhale. In less than five minutes, you are already defeated. Chapter 80, Goblin Law. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Lagosas tried his best to squeeze out a word. Do you have to go on when you can't stand up? Dieta scoffed. Lagosas stood up from the ground with difficulty. His eyes were still full of bloodshot and dissatisfaction. After shaking his body a few times, he put his hands up and down in front of his eyes. The strongest magician, it's me. Lagosas roared furiously, the little magic power left in his body was vented frantically, and a dazzling light burst out from his hands. This is. Urza felt something was wrong. Suddenly exclaimed, what are you going to do, Lagosas? Leprechaun law. Dieter also immediately remembered what Lagosas' move was at this time, and couldn't help but feel a little nervous. Is it too serious to bully Lagosas? As long as the person who uses this trick regards the other party as an enemy, it will be obliterated which is basically a super magic with no solution. If Lagosas really use it, Dieta couldn't imagine it. When I hesitated, I also saw the badge of the Fairy Tale Guild. Bring it on. Dieta took a deep breath and waited quietly. Leprechaun law is perfect. Even being able to use this super magic to dominate the world is also the foundation of the guild. And there is basically no possibility of facing it head on. Can only pray that the badge of the guild will work. Gone away. Goblin law. A golden light instantly enveloped the entire cathedral and everyone outside the guild building in the distance could see it clearly. The Goblin Law, Lagosas actually launched the Goblin Law, what the hell is he going to do? Macra fraud. Ah, suddenly, his heart throbbed, and he immediately held on to the wall next to him and clenched his teeth. Chairman, are you alright? Mira Jane saw the state of the president and immediately stepped forward to support him and ask. Macra shook his head and looked at the light in the distance, is Lagosas being driven to a dead end? Otherwise, no matter how angry he is, he shouldn't launch the fairy law. Will something happen to Brother Dieta? Lucy hurriedly asked. The goblin law she had heard of, seemed to be a kind of life-consuming magic. Use it to see the heart as an enemy to annihilate. Now it is obvious that Brother Dieta is forcing Lagosas to a desperate situation. Otherwise how could such a thing be possible? There are also some concerns. It's okay, the goblin laws are triggered very regularly, and despite Lagosas' mentality, the magic won't work. Macruff comforted, still a little worried looking at the cathedral. He was really afraid that Lagosas would fall into the darkness because he was beaten so badly by Dieter, and regarded human life as a must, hoping that Dieter would have a way to stop it. On sight, Urza pounced on Dieter with wide dyed eyes. It's useless to try to knock Goblin Lord down before he's released, but it's just an instinctive act. Destroy it, Lagosas roared and the fairy law in his hand was activated instantly. A dazzling light enveloped everyone. The golden light lasted for nearly three seconds before slowly disappearing. The excited expression on Lagosa's face also solidified, watching Dieta and Urza open their mouths. We were unharmed. It's all right. Urza opened his eyes to see Dieta and himself unharmed. Obviously hit by such a strong magic, Lagosas looked at his hands and wondered for the first time whether there was something wrong with the goblin law. Dieta responded, the people of the guild and the residents of the city are all fine and no one has been killed by this magic at all. It's impossible, Lagosas retorted. Goblin law is perfect magic. Urza didn't speak, and she couldn't understand the situation at the moment. But Dieter laughed and sat directly on the ground, wiping the sweat from his palms. He was really angry just now. Fairy law is perfect super magic after all, Dieter said. Yeah, the goblin law is perfect, 
and it can kill all the enemies that the cast air is made of. But do you really see me or Urza and the guild companions as enemies in your heart? No, all those who stand in my way are enemies, all our Lagoses went wild. But Data shook his head. It's almost the, you can't deceive magic in your heart. What you inherited from the president is not only great strength, but also a heart for your companions. Data said. Lagosas subconsciously wanted to open his mouth to refute, but he didn't know how to say the words. His eyes swept across Erza and Dieter, and his body fell back to the ground. Puff. Lagosas' magic power-consuming star died. Notify the president, I'm going to clean up those things outside, the goblin civil war is over. Dieter got up and walked outside. Erza nodded and looked at the fallen Lagosas and said nothing. Outside. Dieter took a deep breath into second gear. Use the moon step to hit those thunderballs and clear all the dangers covering the sky. When coming back again. The president and women like Mira Jane, as well as Natsu and Grey came here. Dieter, let's fight. The strongest wizard of the fairy guild is not over yet. I will definitely be the strongest. Natsu was overjoyed when he saw Dieter's return and was about to rush over to strike. Dieter, you did a very good job, and as the eldest brother of your age, you did a very perfect job. Makarov praised. Yeah, fortunately, with you, this can stop Lagosas from doing stupid things in time. Brother Dieter it's amazing. One person first dealt with the Thors and defeated Lagosas. Sure enough. Brother Dieter is the strongest. Natsu and Grey are not good either. Damn it. What? Everyone else started to praise them one after another. Dieter smiled. Father, Lagosas just took a detour, and I hope you will take it lightly. Dieter helped intercede within the guild. Thanks to Madame Belusica, both Thor and Lagosas have their lives saved. Ertu addresses the guild. However, the guild members below were not too happy. Monument. Soon someone flipped the table and shouted. What's the matter? We also want to teach Lagosas a good lesson for the president. That kid Dieter is so annoying. Aha I don't even know how I got dizzy. I heard that it looks ugly and I don't know if it's true or false. Speaking of which, what exactly is Dieter stunned us? It's unbelievable that a form we've never seen before can stun our minds and stun people. Super strength Dieter, as expected of a person who became an S-rank mage five years ago, his strength is indeed terrifying. Ha 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 no matter what. The magic parade will still be held. The guild members were clamoring for Dieter to give an explanation. And Dieter was now in the ward. The three seriously injured guys on the bed were tightly bandaged, like a mummy. You young people don't have any importance. Humans really hate them, and they fight all day long. That's why I hate humans. Dot ask for flowers. Belusica was preparing the herbs again and again and scolded him endlessly. Dieter and Makarov sat not far away and listened to the lecture quietly. Wait a long time. Lagosas came out of his coma. Makarov then said. Do you know what you have done this time? Hearing Makarov's words, Lagosas staggered his eyes in shame and seemed to realize his mistake. Look into my eyes. Makarov said seriously, the so-called guild is a place where partners gather, and it is also a place for intermediaries to work. It is a warm home for helpless little devils, and it is not your personal thing. The guild is based on mutual trust and morality, and has become a bond stronger than anything else. But you violated morality and threatened the lives of your partners. This is absolutely unforgivable. Lagosas was discouraged. His tone was much lower and his hand wrapped in gauze on the bed was rubbing tightly. I just want this guild to become stronger. Hey Tilda. Makarov sighed, walked over to the window with his hands behind his back, and said, You're such a clumsy fellow, why don't you relax your shoulders? Introduced to Lagosas, Dieter is strong enough, he is the most powerful person besides Jirdus, but he also goes fishing every day to relax, and does nothing but flirt with Mira Jane and Urza all day. Don't care, but who would dare to underestimate him, as the eldest brother of his peers? He didn't think about you running around for the guild all day. Bystander Dieter regretted it. How the hell did it get involved with him? Seeing Lagosas looking at himself, he rolled his eyes speechlessly and did not speak. You can't understand the fun of fishing. Later, I also sat with Dieter fishing, and then I found out that fishing is also very interesting. When you relax, you will see things you haven't seen before, and hear things you couldn't hear before. The voice, life will become very interesting. Makarov patiently enlightened Lagosas with soft eyes in his eyes, he said. For me, watching you grow is the meaning of my life. It doesn't matter if you are not strong or smart enough, as long as you are healthy and energetic, it is enough for me. Lagosas opened his trembling mouth, and he didn't know what to say at this time. Makarov took a deep breath. Lagosas, you have been expelled from the guild. Hum. Lagosas' mind went blank. Looking at Grandpa's back, he didn't refute, and got up from the bed with difficulty. Looking at the thin back, he said, Well, thank you for taking care of me. Turn away. When he arrived at the door, he said, Grandpa. You have to take good care of yourself. Get out of here. Magical parade. Under the starry sky at night, fireworks and firecrackers are burning. A large number of residents on the street are eagerly waiting for the fairy tale to travel. On the roof, Dieter cross-legged and looked at the bustling city with a smile, appeared with fairy tale. The atmosphere of the magic parade also reached its peak, with countless people waving small items in their hands and calling out the name of the fairy tale guild. In the alley, 
Lagosas watched quietly. When everyone appeared in the field of vision, all the members raised their right hands in unison at that moment. The index finger and thumb are pointed up to the sky. That moment, Lagosas burst into tears and smiled calmly. Even if you can't see your figure, even if you are far apart, I will always look at you, and I will always protect you. Dot 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 Z. Since 99, Chapter 81, Horatian says, Thanks for the reward of only me happy. Thank you. The harvest festival ends for a week. The guild has returned to a lively atmosphere, although Natsu expresses his dissatisfaction with Lagosa's departure. But things have become facts must be irreversible. I heard that Mila Urza is your girlfriend. You are countless times stronger than Loki. Tell me your love story, story, story Tilda. The only thing Dieter can't stand is Thor's Pixlo. Obviously he was beaten to death, but now he has been entangled for a long time a day. I heard that the council has begun to build and I am afraid that the compromises always will be changed in the future. Our guild is very dangerous. Swipe through Natsu and Grey and most of the guild, Dieter said with great concern that the construction of the Senate has led to the retreat of the soft faction. The main battle faction is going to play, and the fairy tale guild may bear a very heavy fishing reel in the future. 323 Yes, Mr. Yajim retired. No one will help the guild to speak. I am afraid to keep a low profile in the future. Mira Jane held two drinks in front of the counter, took one and pushed it in front of Dieter and she picked up the other to quench her thirst. After smacking his lips and savoring the sweetness of the drink, there was an unconcealed worry in his eyes. I heard that the Dark Guild has also changed, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Mira Jane added, ask leaders next to him to draw the distribution map of the Dark Guild. Both Dieter and Mira Jane looked at the distribution map of the Dark Guild and began to infer. Miss Myra, what is this? Lucy was bored, seeing that something was being painted here, he also squeezed in and curiously looked at the pattern drawn in the air. Puzzled, we tried to draw the organization chart of the Dark Guild, and after sorting it out, we realized that there were so many, Mira Jane explained. Lucy asked, why draw it? Only then did Dieter speak. The week after the Harvest Festival has not been so peaceful. I heard that the Dark Guild seems to be starting to move again, and the guilds must strengthen cooperation. And what is this big middle circle? Grey asked. This Juvia knows. Juvia immediately replied, it is the Billum Alliance of the Dark Guild, and the Billum Alliance is composed of Arashian Says and Tartaros and the Demon Heart. These three dark guilds are the biggest dark force. They each have several guilds directly under them, and they dominate the world of darkness, and there is also an independent guild, Raven Tail. Huh? Lucy murmured uncertainly, Isenwald isn't. Erta, who came up from the back, affirmed what Lucy was going to say next. That's right, it's Eriga's guild, which originally belonged to Arashin Say's guild. The rest of the guild also spoke. There are quite a few guilds that have an impression and some of them were regular guilds before. That's the soul of the corpse that was destroyed by the Thunder Gods before. The guilds that Juvia and Gajil destroyed when they were still ghosts were all guilds under Arashin says. Why are you talking with a smile, don't you laugh? Listening to the words of the guild members also made Lucy shudder. What? Hope they don't irritate them. Lucy was terrified. Kaba jumped out to comfort at this time, you can rest assured, there is nothing to fear. I heard that these guys are only six people in total. Macau complained. I don't understand how small this guild is. Lucy nodded happily and agreed, and suddenly felt that this guild was nothing special. However, Dieter shook his head and denied their words. Nevertheless, have you ever thought about why the mere six people became one of the biggest dark forces? So let me tell you, each of those six people's strength will not be lower than level five. The existence of mages, hiss. Lucy was so frightened that he couldn't even imagine such a scene. The strength of each is not lower than S rank. This is too terrifying. No wonder it can become one of the biggest dark forces with just six people. Just when everyone wants to. President Makarov came to the stage to speak. As for the Arashian says you mentioned, it has been decided that we will attack it. Everyone was shocked. The scene fell into silent silence for a while. Welcome back, President. Mira Jane greeted. Puff. All fell to the ground. Mira Jane said hello again. Is the routine meeting going well? Lucy complained. That's not the point. Erza also immediately stepped forward to ask. President, what is going on here? Her expression was serious. It can be seen that Makarov's words also make her take it seriously. On the stage, at the regular meeting a few days ago, the issue that Arashin says seemed to be taking action was raised and discussed at the meeting. Since it was no longer possible to sit back and watch, it was decided that a certain guild would come forward to destroy them. Markalov said, Below Grey speaks, so you've drawn the next lottery again, old man. So it's up to Fairy Tail to do it, Juvia said. Makarov on stage shook his head. No because the opponent this time is really too strong, if we are the only one who will be the only target of the Ramel Alliance in the future. So, we decided to form a coalition to formally attack them. Makarov explained. Coalition? The guild members were all curious. Makarov said, Fairy Tail, Blue Pegasus, Scales of Snake Princess, and Demon Cat's Nest. Each of these four guilds sends members to work together to destroy them. At this time, Natsu, full of confidence, jumped out. Actually, 
It is enough for us to do it ourselves. It should be said that it is enough for me to come forward alone. Hey, Diet aside on his forehead and persuaded Natsu, it's good to be confident, but don't be blind, Natsu. Lucy stopped tremblingly and asked, isn't there only six people on the other side? What the hell are they? Dieter raised an eyebrow at Lucy. He couldn't help but remind her, those six people are not easy. Few people can beat them in a one-on-one -on -one 1.1 situation. Macruff glanced at the guild members in front of him. Calling, the candidates for our guild are Erda, Natsu, Grey, and Lucy. Be sure to coordinate the battle plan with the other guilds. Most of the people in the guild were surprised when they heard the name. The main reason is also because I didn't expect that the president would forget the uniqueness when choosing a candidate. To say who is the strongest in the guild, it is definitely Dieter. Especially when dealing with a dangerous dark guild such as Arashin says, it should be safe enough to use the strongest candidate. But no one thought that the president would pass Dieter's choice and the others. You guys are ready to go. Macruff didn't explain, he let Urza prepare, and then looked at Dieter and waved, Dieter come with me. Chapter 82 the Overlord's color shocks blue Pegasus. In the forest, a car pulled by a wild boar is galloping down a forest path. I always felt as if something really big was about to happen. Lucy cried bitterly in the carriage. It should be said, I don't understand why I was selected to participate in this battle meeting. Gray next to him muttered, I also think this matter is very troublesome, so don't complain. Lucy pouted reluctantly. Happy held the fishbone and gagged his mouth impatiently. Inside the carriage, Natsa was already groaning from the unpleasantness of the carriage shaking. Only Erza cheered. We were picked by the president, shouldn't we respond to the president's expectations for us? Lucy asked back, but, shouldn't Brother Dieter come to fight? No matter what kind of enemy, Brother Dieter is enough to defeat them, and we don't need us at all. I don't understand why the president didn't let Brother Dieter come over. Speaking of this, Ayaza didn't know how to respond, although she also thought so. But since it was an order from the president, he must have his own way. All in all we can't let the president down, Ayaza said. Lucy's face was full of regret. Although Brother Dieta is not here, we are still the usual team members. Isn't it good? As I said about today's task, today we have to formulate a battle plan with other guild members, so people in the same guild must have a good understanding first. On the cliff, Dieta wore a blue cape with black writing on a white background, and his eyes were looking at a forest below the cliff, and the center of the forest was shrouded in a lot of black. Investigating the purpose of Arashin says, such a trivial matter needs to be secretly ordered. Dieter muttered. The reason why he didn't join the alliance against Horatian says was because the president Macruff had given him another mission. The mission was to investigate the objectives of the Horatian says operation. If it is found in advance, it is best to destroy it in time, so as to avoid major accidents that may occur later. Nirvana, how to destroy this thing, unless it destroys the center, but that thing is very difficult to get. It's better to find Horatian says directly and kill them directly, Dieter said. Turn away from the cliff. Be prepared to go outside and see if you can find Arashin Says ahead of time. Speaking of which, if you want to investigate Arashin Says, you still need Urza's help, so let's go and have a look. Dieter thought on the way back. At the same time, I also remember that the cute little Wendy will also make her first appearance, so it is better to go there. Blue Pegasus. In President Bob's villa. Dot 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 sorry, I'm also very scared of this guy, even though he's a very good wizard. The folks at Blue Pegasus are welcome to show up. The three scumbag face guys rubbed a bit with their teachers and fairy tale. Damn it handsome guys from Blue Pegasus, can you please stop bothering the princesses of our guild? Grey snapped at the Blue Pegasus guys. The head of the knight said with an expressionless face, as long as it is a man, you can leave. Damn it. Grey swept across the three little white faces angrily. Send this little white face. Do you want to fight or not? Grey reprimanded. The three little white faces showed no signs of weakness. Do you want to take a look at it? We are very strong. The scene suddenly heated up. Om. Um. At this moment, a terrifying aura like a giant beast in the sky rushed towards him. Dong dong. Long. At that moment, the three little white faces of Blue Pegasus suddenly felt a kind of heart-trenching pain. Pale face with endless fear. In an instant, the three little white faces covered their hearts and had difficulty breathing, evading and retreating several meters to the back of Yi Yi before they stood firm. He opened his mouth to say something, but he couldn't. And that night, he stared at the gate of the villa with wide eyes and murmured, what a powerful aura, could it be? And Grey, Natsu, and Lucy were also uncomfortable, especially Lucy grabbed Urza's arm and clenched his teeth hard to keep himself from fainting. Grey and Natsu rubbed their hearts and grinned, because they all know who the source of this momentum is. I didn't expect him to come, so I said how could the president forget him? Urza rejoiced. At the same time, he also experienced that momentum for the first time, and soon admired Dieter's bottomless strength. She wasn't as embarrassed as Natsu and Grey though, but she really felt the same way in that aura. It felt as if she was facing the terrifying beasts of the ancient times. The pure aura, the powerful and arrogant king aptitude deeply shocked her. Who is? This momentum is terrifying. I feel like I am a lonely boat in front of it, and a little wave is enough to annihilate my body and mind. It's terrifying. It's really terrifying like never before, 
This kind of sharp and undisguised shock is really frightening both physically and mentally. Blue Pegasus sighed with emotion. At the same time, I am also curious about what kind of existence the master of this momentum is. Why is there such a momentum? I even want to know how this incomparably powerful momentum is released. DA DA DA. The footsteps outside the villa were getting closer. Soon a figure with a cape walked slowly, and his handsome face was revealed after entering the villa. So handsome, very handsome. This is too handsome. The three attendants who stayed overnight also exclaimed, and they felt ashamed after seeing Dieter's face. Instantly lost its luster. Flowers appeared, and they were indeed bleak as green leaves. Are you going to fight? Dieter walked in, glanced at Blue Pegasus, and the others smiled and replied, 323 must look down on our fairy tale too much. Dieter, brother Dieter, you really came. Great, with Dieter joining you, let's drive out Blue Pegasus, especially those three little white faces. Several people immediately cheered. Urza added. But in the future, try to use that kind of momentum as little as possible, it's easy to accidentally hurt your own people. Ahaha, Dieter laughed, next time definitely. After seeing Dieter that night, I knew his identity, sniffed his nose and sighed, Mr. Dieter's unique aroma is really powerful and endless. Hello Mr. Knight, gentleman Dieter nodded and said hello, and despite his eccentric habit of a knight, he was still very powerful. And he is also very friendly to the fairy tale guild, Dieter, president. Did you come to participate in this battle? Urza asked. Lucy and others also looked over curiously. If Dieter was really involved, why didn't they come together before? This will come. Dieter shook his head. No. The president gave me a task, and it is something to do with a Rashin says, so I came to see. Urza et al understand. I didn't ask any more questions and chatted with myself. Not long after, the people from the Snake Princess Scale Guild also came. The three parties also had some friction for a while, and they were about to fight. Chapter 83 Wendy, stop. Just when the battle was about to break out, the Aula, led by the scales of Snake Princess, appeared. Dieter looked at him with a little concern, then looked back and leaned on a stone pillar to watch his nose, his nose watching his heart in a daze, ignoring the entanglement of the three guilds. So the rest of the Demon Cat's lodging haven't come yet? After some quarrel and discussion, everyone was finally ready to start negotiating and fighting. I heard that only one person was sent to the Demon Cat's house. He said overnight. Everyone was surprised. Does sending only one person mean that that person is super strong? Wait a minute, what a vicious person would that be? Lucy was scared, and immediately ran behind Little Dieter to breathe a sigh of relief. No matter how dangerous a person is, it is absolutely safest to be behind Brother Dieter. D-A-D-A-D-A. -D -A -D -A. The sound of trotting footsteps sounded. A young girl with blue hair rushed in from outside. Dieter looked at it with great interest immediately. This should be a famous scene next right? What? Puff. The girl fell flat on the ground. Dieter couldn't help laughing, mainly because it's really hard to imagine that he would fall on the ground without any obstacles. Sarah and the others also looked over. It hurts when he patted the dust on her body and stood up, shyly with her hands behind her back, she said. I was sent by the demon cat's house. My name is Wendy, please give me more advice. The voice is so soft. Dieter sighed in his heart. Wendy, this little cute and glutinous, really looks great. Female. Little girl? It's amazing. This kid is. Everyone looked at Wendy with curious eyes. Some people were surprised and some people really didn't expect that the demon cat would send a child. In this way, all the guilds will be here. Tia started. Gray immediately complained. Don't you have any opinions to say? However, I didn't expect that such a large-scale battle plan would only send such a small child. I don't know what the hell the demon cat's in is thinking about. Geely also covered her mouth and couldn't help complaining. Alabama she's not alone. Big sister with heavy makeup. Sudden. Wendy walked up to the previous kitten behind her. At that moment, the whole world of happy seemed to be blasted open by thunder and lightning, and his heart shattered in an instant. Wendy hurriedly asked, Xialulu, why did you come with me? Of course, how can I trust myself to let you come here alone? Xialulu said. Happy also immediately ran to Lucy's side to speak. Everyone else was looking at the little girl Wendy, and none of them seemed to wait first. Everyone, I can't fight at all, but I can cast a lot of magic that can support you in battle. So, Wendy spoke in an aggrieved tone and plucked up the courage to say, So I hope you don't exclude me from the circle. So cute, Diet to put on a smile. Wendy is not young, so it's quite normal to have such behavior. Plus Lily's appearance is really likable. I'm really sorry, we were just a little surprised and definitely didn't mean to underestimate you. Urza hurriedly stood up to explain and took the initiative. Please advise, Wendy. The table pull a night without any dissatisfaction. That little girl with an extraordinary fragrance, is by no means an ordinary person. Yi Yi said earnestly. Dara added, did you find it too? Mr. Knight, this little girl has a magic power different from ours, and Miss Urza and Mr. Dieter seem to have noticed it long ago. For a time, the three little white faces of Blue Pegasus started to turn around Wendy again. On the other hand, Natsu was lost in thought, thinking about the name Wendy, and he always felt that he had heard it somewhere, as if he had known it for a long time. 
Okay, now that everyone is here, let's quickly talk about the battle agreement. Dietrich reminded everyone in time. Everyone came back to their senses. Although they were very concerned about Wendy, they did not stop too much and started to explain. And Dieter lost interest after a few words. Lazy eyes looked up at a certain direction on the roof, and under the perception of seeing and hearing, I could feel that there was an abnormality there. Horatian says. Dieter narrowed his eyes and thought for a moment to see who might be the boom in front of him. Natsu immediately broke through the door and rushed out after hearing the words. The others followed suit. Dieter swayed slowly as if he was about to fall asleep. That, at this time, Wendy approached a little worriedly and asked, Are you feeling uncomfortable? I haven't seen you talking, I know some healing magic, do you need my help? Um, Dieter looked curiously. After seeing Wendy's pure concern, she also leaked a smile, reached out and rubbed her long blue hair, It's okay, I'm in good health, my mission in this battle is different from yours, so you have to work hard Tilda. Wendy blushed and nodded. Then he followed the others and walked outside. Natsu rushed out first and the other people naturally couldn't continue to delay, and kept up with the pace and rushed to the forest to find the stronghold of Arashin says. A time. At the door of the villa was the knight and the two of them. Jura, has Mr. Dieter gone? Yi Yi asked. Tiara replied, it should be. Mr. Dieter's strength is very strong, his task is different from ours, and he should go. Looking at Yi Yi, he also said, anyway, the battle has already begun, so let's hurry up and go. Immediately one night, he swayed his pose and asked, before you set off. Mr. Bayala, you used to be one of the ten great magicians, am I right? Indeed, Fira replied, immediately one night. He changed to a new look and continued to ask, So, your strength is enough to match President Macruff's pendant? Jewel immediately denied ashamedly, No, that's not the case at all. The title of saint is decided by the council. I'm just to accompany the last seat, even if I have the same title, I will be compared to President Macruff. Compared, that is the difference between heaven and earth. He twisted his body overnight and took out a perfume bottle from his arms. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Open the bottle. A strong fragrance wafted from it. Sudden. Teal only felt that the fragrance penetrated into his body, causing him to be in an instant condition. This is the magical fragrance that can make the enemy lose their fighting spirit. Approaching the night, he opened a bottle again, and a red scent wafted out from it, which instantly enveloped the watch, and the latter had blue veins on his face. A Hilda. The piercing screams were even more miserable. Not only that, but it also strongly stimulates all pain sensations. It is a scent that can cause severe pain all over the body. To be precise, it is not a scent, but a fragrance. The sound of the night suddenly became very strange. Suddenly, the body of the night disappeared with a snap, replaced by two little smurfs. Recovered, all night this guy only thinks about astringent things all day long, and he doesn't use his brain. Okay, okay, it's a very useless adult, the little guy complained. Okay. Don't complain anymore. At this time, an angel wearing a garment made of feathers appeared. Thanks to I copied the dirty man to fully understand your battle plan. Angel said. Clap clap. Applause sounded. The angel immediately looked towards the roof of the villa behind him. Awesome. I didn't expect Gemini to be so useful. Why don't you give it to me? Diet to put his legs up and looked at Solo, who called himself an angel. Below. You've been hiding, right? How do you know where I'm going? Solo, who also called himself angel, felt strange. The only possibility in the mind quickly conformed. Ding dong, Dieter responded, congratulations, you got it right, I've found you since you appeared on the roof, so hide and watch the show. Now it's time for your part to end, Dieter grinned. Whether Yi Yi and Biao Lao lost their combat effectiveness had no effect on him at all, so I choose to watch the show. Chapter 84, Dragon Slayer of the Sky You, Sora felt humiliated. From Dieter's mouth, everything he'd done before seemed like a little trick. Angrily staring at Dieter on the roof. Celestial spirit magic is really amazing. I want to learn it. How many keys do you have on you? Dieter's body automatically fell from the eaves without the wind. It didn't make any sound when it landed. The Gemini who looked at Slow was very moved, and seemed eager to seize it. Wow hoo hoo. Gemini was a little chilled by Dieter's gaze, and the small body hurriedly ducked behind Slow's head, carefully looking at the uniqueness. HMPH. Even if I see you, no one will know as long as you are destroyed. Slow said. He stretched out his hand and immediately commanded, Gemini, transform into one knight and destroy him. Wow hoo hoo tilde. Gemini immediately obeyed, and the two became one. It turned into the appearance of the knight again, reached out and took out a bottle and was about to open it. What? Dieter chuckled. The red light flashed in his eyes, and a surging momentum rushed towards him. In an instant, Gemini rolled his eyes instantly. Peng, recovered and turned into Gemini directly fainted and fell to the ground. At this moment, soon as A's were also covered with tears, and her body was trembling and she opened her mouth to speak. But the lack of brain nerves made her unable to say what she wanted to say at the moment. Long, his heart was beating rapidly, and Sora felt the depression he had never felt before, and the depression was even more uncomfortable than the president's personality. I want to move my body. But the legs don't obey at all. Except for the brain, 
It seems that the other limbs do not belong to her and cannot be controlled. Do not. The brain doesn't even obey. After being shocked by that momentum, she even wanted to run away. How terrible. What a terrifying aura. How can there be such a terrible person in this world? Why are they here? Why did I meet such a terrifying human being? She shouted in her heart and kept trying to wake up her limbs to leave but she couldn't do it. D-A-D-A-D-A tilde. Dieter's footsteps moved towards Sona, and those steps were pressing like an urging Yama. The footsteps were almost inaudible, but it still made my heart feel timid. Every time she took a step, she was very awake as if stepping on her heart. She was very scared and wanted to escape, to leave this hellish place. Your psychological quality is much weaker than I thought. Dieter narrowed his eyes to see Sona, who couldn't speak with tears in his red eyes and murmured softly. The horror of the overlord color is really a punishment for people with poor psychology. It's like Kong Nei in front of her, who was shocked by the overlord's color and wouldn't say anything. Her body seemed to be out of control, showing how poor her psychological quality was. You. Let a Kong Nei wanted to speak, and forced his mouth to stammer to speak. But it wasn't so easy to break free after being stunned by Dieter's targeted attack. Although she wanted to, but neither the mouth nor the body will go along with her manipulation in a short time. That feeling makes her feel hopeless. Ask for mercy? Dieter walked up to Sono and watched her speak. The latter did not respond. Maybe she really wanted to respond, but her body couldn't do it in a short time. Dieter's sharp eyes flashed. Kick the knee. The knee suddenly lifted, and before Sora could react, he was hit in the abdomen. Vomit. The severe pain also made Kong Nei instantly regain his senses. He wrapped his stomach and bent over to vomit. Dieter's leg kicked over. The abdomen was severely bombarded again and Sono's body was kicked out in an instant. Puff Puff Tilda. His body was kicked to the ground, and he was rolled upside down on the ground several times by the continuous force. The clothes made of white feathers on his body were also stained with mud. Looking a little embarrassed, Ga, Dieter's figure disappeared instantly. Nakongo's eyes widened, but before he could react, his eyes were shrouded in darkness. The huge fist fell. Peng. Kong Nei fainted and fell down without saying a word. Weak. Too weak. Celestial spirit mages don't rely on celestial spirit, they're just trash and they're not happy at all. Dieter couldn't help shaking his head. Horatian says is not weak, but it is a pity that Dieter is stronger. He is now strong enough to compete with the Holy Ten. Watching Horatian says again, I am afraid that only the personality of the leader can make him play to the fullest. Others are not opponents, and even instant kills are not difficult. Forget it. Dieter sighed, comforting himself. Let's go meet Terza. As he spoke, he came to Sono's side, reached out and beat her up and walked towards the forest in his impression. Now, at the woods, all in all, Although the safety of Wendy and the boar is very worrying, it should be known that they are not easy opponents to win. Xia Lulu speaks to Natsu who wants to rush to find Happy and Wendy. Xia Lulu misses right. The enemy is stronger than we thought. Fado explained. Menu. Overnight seconded approval. Let's talk about it. Xia Lulu looked at Urza. At this time, Urza's arm was covered with a black purple toxin. Urza, cheer up. The venom started to spread where the venomous snakes bit. One night lord immediately understood overnight. He took out the small bottle from his body, and posing to show off. For my lovely sweetheart, hurry up and enhance the pain-relieving fragrance. The green scent pervades. He poured into Urza's nostrils to relieve the toxins on his arms. What? Pain. Urza wrapped his arms in pain. One night of magic didn't help the wound. Urza said in pain, Lucy sorry, lend me the belt. With that he ripped off Lucy's belt. At that moment, the three little white faces suddenly cheered with golden light in their eyes. Urza bound his arms. What are you doing, Miss Urza? Lucy asked hurriedly. Urza apologizes, sorry, I can't fight it all at this rate. So far only, CFBB, can cut it. Everyone was shocked. Grace scolded, idiot, what stupid things are you talking about now? Dieter will kill us if he knows. Please. Urza didn't respond to Grey's words. Help me cut it down. At this time, Leon came out and held the sword, and promised, I see, I'll do it. Grey Natsu and Lucy stopped immediately. How can I let Urza lose his arm? Not only because of Dieter, but also because it is really unbearable to do so. Do not worry. As Grey confronts Leon. Dieter comes out from a distance. He carried a woman on his shoulders. Brother Dieter, Dieter, you're finally here. Hurry up and persuade Urza. She's going to chop off her arm. Mr. Dieter, what's on your shoulder? Several people were busy talking. Puff. Dieter threw Sono on the ground. It's him. I remember seeing her when I was about to faint. The woman of Arashin says codenamed Angel, Fela said immediately. Men posed overnight. I met this woman. Everyone wondered why Dieter brought a woman back. Dieter said casually, I found her after she planned to bring down Mr. Jura so I got rid of her by the way, but I didn't expect that Mr. Jura and Mr. Knight were faster than me. After explaining to everyone, he turned to Urza. Sorry Dieter. The toxin on the arm is dangerous. I can't delay everyone's battle, so I decided to cut it off. Urza said apologetically. Dieter stepped forward and squatted in front of her arms. After looking at the injury, he also nodded. It doesn't matter, although the toxin spreads quickly, there is still a cure. Men, posing overnight to explain, 
Mr. Dieter, everyone present and I can treat the injury, and it has just failed, so for the life of Miss Erta, the arm may really have to be cut off. Everyone else was silent. Although I don't want to admit it, this seems to be the only way now. Not necessarily, Dieter smiled and shook his head. Xialulu over there understood Dieter's smile and said, Yes, if Wendy is here, she can be saved. Several people are very curious. Can that little girl save lives? Dieter nodded. Yeah, Wendy will cure Erta. But isn't healing a lost magic? Isn't it long overdue? Geely asked. Lucy immediately asked. Does this have anything to do with the Myco in the sky? This time Xialulu didn't speak directly. Instead, he looked at Dieter with great interest, as if waiting to see if Dieter knew something. Dieter laughed and explained, I know something about Dragon Slayer from Lady Bolusica in the Guild's Eastern Forest, and Wendy's magic is weird, plus Lucy said the Sky Witch, so I thought. Dot. Having said this, Dieter paused, looked at Xialulu playfully and said, Wendy should be the Dragon Slayer of the Sky. What? What? Dragon Slayer of the Sky? Everyone present was shocked, that little girl turned out to be the Dragon Slayer of the Sky? Xia Lulu pointed to her white hair and chin and said proudly, this man knows quite a lot. Yes, Wendy is the Dragon Slayer of the Sky, Tan Long Wendy, she can heal some injuries. Natsu was still immersed in surprise and said with emotion, she is Dragon Slayer. The details will come later, but the next thing we need to do is get Wendy and Happy out. Dieter didn't explain much. After checking Urza's injuries a little, he got up and came back to Solo. With the soles of his feet tucked under his body, he lifted it up and carried it on his shoulders, ready to set off. Then let's have a match to see who can take down Arashin Says first. If I do first, then your combat operation will fail this time. Dieter laughed playfully. The figure immediately rushed towards the forest. I'm burning. Natsu rushed into the forest with the blazing flames in his hand. Damn it's Dieter, deliberately disrupting our mission. I will never admit defeat. Gray said with a joking smile on his face. Others are full of spirits. Mr. Dieter's appearance is really a pillar, and the atmosphere that was still dead suddenly became active. Phalo admired. Men changed his posture overnight. Mr. Dieter's terrifying strength is not a weak mouse, and he will be more relieved if he joins. Yes. Chapter 85 After the upgrade, the physical damage of the Overlord color. The depths of the Sea of Was Trees. Damn it, who is it? Who can defeat Angel? She is defeated. Brain. The leader of Arashin says, covered his face in anger. It seems that among the people who came this time, there is also an incredible guy. I don't know how it feels to kill that guy, Cobra said, stroking the poisonous snake. Money is justice, is he willing to pay to sell his head? Hotai said holding a book. Laser disdain, Angel is really shameful. If it were me, I would never fail in the past. No one is the opponent at my speed. Brain's face was gloomy. Laser, go and bring that guy over, as long as that guy is there. Nirvana can be found. Chief Brain ordered. Laser speech. It's very far away. No matter how fast I am, it will take an hour. The leader Brain didn't care. It doesn't matter. It's all worth it for Nirvana, and the Cobra and the Hot Eye. You two who go out to defeat the Angel will be killed. Okay, I hope that person's voice can be better. All three guys go out and start their missions. Happy asked in a low voice. Wendy, let me ask you, what are these guys talking about from the beginning? I don't know. I'm also confused. What kind of magic is Nirvana they just said? Wendy didn't know either. The leader brain leaked a sinister smile. It's magic that interchanges light and darkness. In the woods, Dieter pulled Solo to the stone, and threw Solo under his feet, thinking about it. Wendy and Happy were taken for the purpose of healing, so Jell isn't dead? Dieter thought. Feeling very complicated and hesitating, should we cut the weeds? Trouble. Is Jell an undead Xiaokiang? I just smashed his throat with a punch, wouldn't it kill him? Dieter was speechless, seeing Solo on the ground. He also kicked her angrily. Taking a deep breath, a red light flashed in his eyes, and he used the color of knowledge to investigate where he was going. Um, suddenly Dieter was a little weird. Looking at the position in front of the left, where he perceives that many people are rushing towards him. Anyone from Arashin says? Dieter murmured. Prepare to move your body for a while. Ding. Sign into Arashin says. Reward 40 skill points. At this time, the word system appeared in my mind, successfully signing in this Arashin says reward. Dieter was immediately absorbed in his mind. At present, the Overlord color in the three color domineering has reached level 4, and has a controllable shock and deterrent ability. I don't know what the next 40 points will be. According to the setting of Pirate World, when the Overlord is upgraded to a certain level, it can cause physical damage. According to the rules of adding points in the system, level 6 can have physical damage. I don't know what the physical damage will be after reaching level 8. If it is still a single stun, it will be a bit stretched. Apostrophe Dieter muttered, whether it's the Navy 6th form or the Rubber Fruit's ability to rise to a certain level. It has surpassed its original power. The power of the Navy 6th form and the resistance of the Rubber Fruit ability have been greatly improved. Then the ability of the three-color domineering will definitely not be so simple. Just don't know how it will be. Come on, let me see how strong you are at level 8, Dieter said. Immediately add all 40 skill points to the Overlord color, 
and point the overlord color to level 8. The upgraded skills are also instantly instilled throughout the body. Regarding the use and ability of the overlord color, it has become more vivid, and his ability is much stronger. It's unclear what kind of physical damage, but it shouldn't be too bad, Dieter said to himself. Looking at the group of people who have slowed down in front of the left, they also leaked smiles. They just upgraded and can be used to practice their hands to see if the level 8 overlord is stronger than Pirate World. Thinking of this, he immediately took Kong Nei into the net and walked towards the group of people. It is peaceful in the forest. It seems that the small animals inside know what dangerous things will happen next, and they all run away early and disappear, which leads to the quietness of the neighborhood. The quiet and silent atmosphere seems to be difficult. D-A-D-A-D-A tilde, Dieter walked carelessly into the circle, squinting his eyes. He threw Solo directly to the ground, thinking in his heart whether he should ravage her and let the hidden people riot and rush out to attack. Kill it. All kill him to save Lord Angel. Come on, kill kill kill. However, before Diet could make a move, the people who were hiding around immediately jumped out. One by one, they waved their weapons and charged towards Dieter. Ask for flowers. Everyone was grim-faced. There was a bloodthirsty smile on his face, and it seemed that killing someone was not a big deal for them. Most are ordinary people. Dieter could sense that these people were ordinary mercenaries, except for a few who are sorcerers. But there was a lot of blood on their hands, which made Dieter have no sympathy. Simply you are also murderers so I wouldn't have anything wrong with killing you, Dieter reassures, hum, overlord color is used immediately, the air visible to the naked eye shook the air into ripples, and the waves were like waves on the sea, spreading from Dieter's body and waving around, moment, the white clouds in the sky were shattered, the clouds were mercilessly smashed and disappeared, the woods below seemed to be brushed by a big hand, and the branches and leaves were bent over by an invisible force, the distance from hanging Dieter, the nearest circle of tree trunks has been cracked and cracked by the overlord's color, and those lines are very ferocious and spread upward from the root of the tree. What surprised Dieter the most was the group of people who were intimidated by the overlord color. Ouch coughed Hilda. Those ordinary mercenaries immediately bent down, retched and coughed after being shocked by the overlord, and spit out a mouthful of blood from their mouths. Pale and paralyzed fell to the ground. His eyes were filled with fear and panic, as if he had seen some terrifying ancient beast just now. Some of them have weak constitutions, and even Kai Kong bleeds to death. Is it that strong? Dieter swept over those ordinary people strangely, some couldn't believe that this was the damage caused by the overlord, and it was able to vomit blood in the shock of ordinary people, and some people looked like they were about to die. He hurriedly looked at the few sorcerers, I saw that the faces of the sorcerers were not good looking, and there was a trace of blood oozing from the corner of everyone's mouth. They all fell to the ground and looked at Dieter in horror, clutching their hearts as if they were enduring some kind of terrifying monster, and some people were so frightened that the bird was stunned. The fishy smell is terrible. However. The condition of the mages is obviously much better than that of ordinary people, and those ordinary people have been seriously injured. And these sorcerers also shed a trace of blood. Only a few people with very poor psychological quality are scared of the DC. Second, Chapter 86. The Devil. He is the Devil. The Devil. He is the Devil. It's terrible. I'm going home. I'll never be a sorceress again. Help. The Devil is here. Save me. Devil sir, please spare me. I beg you. The person in front of him immediately begged for mercy, knelt on the ground and kept kowtowing. Apparently, he had lost his sense of what was actually shocking from Dieter just now. He had been frightened by Dieter's powerful aura, and now he was begging for mercy, crying with tears streaming down his face. Finger gun ban. Boo boo bum. Dieter wasn't moved by their pleas for mercy, raised his finger and fired out the Navy Six's finger gun. One after another blood holes appeared between the eyebrows of the group of people in front of them. Once you dare to kill. Then prepare to be killed. Dieter carried Sona over the group of dead people, mumbling in his mouth, Each of these groups are ruthless mercenaries, let go of these people today, then there may be innocent people killed by them tomorrow. 323 kills them without any psychological burden. It's getting late to end the fight, Dieter muttered. The figure disappeared into the woods and disappeared, and his destination at this moment was the location of another group of people under the perception of knowledge. Deep in the sea of trees, Dieter carried Sona to the bottom of a valley. Natsu and Xialulu are inside. Gel and Brain are not there, so you're gone, Dieter muttered to himself, jump from above, came to the cave at the bottom of the valley and walked towards it, going to the depths soon, I saw Natsu, Happy, Xialulu and Wendy, in addition to a coffin, it looks like the people from Rashin says have left, Dieter threw Solo on his shoulders to the ground, watching the gloomy looking Natsu faint and Wendy speaking too, Dieter, Gel Gel he appeared, Happy said aggrieved, Dieter nodded, well, he's not the point, no matter how many times he threatens, it's not a big deal, since you found Wendy, then let's go. Jell. Veins appeared on the back of Natsu's roaring hand. Apparently the anger towards Jell was quite large. Dieter you send them back. I'm going to find Jell. Natsu said. Dieter raised his eyebrows subconsciously. But after thinking about it, he nodded. Alright, then you can go. After finishing speaking, 
He walked over to Wendy, who also fainted, and picked her up. His body slowly floated and disappeared into the cave. There was a residual voice, Natsu and Happy went to find Adele together, Xialulu will come back with me. You man, Xialulu murmured, seemingly dissatisfied with being assigned a mission, but she still flew up and rushed outside. Air, from time to time, a wave of air erupted from Dieter's feet to keep him in the air. What kind of magic are you? Xialulu wondered, Dieter replied with a smile, it's not magic, it's just something that can be done after reaching a certain level of force. In theory, ordinary people can also learn it. Xialulu didn't speak. The two people flew in the air and quickly passed a place. Below is Grey and a member of Arashin says named Laser, facing off. Have you been rescued? Grey was relieved when he saw the man, although he didn't know why it wasn't Natsu, but Dieter was fine. How is that possible? There should be a leader guarding it. How can it be done? Laser also noticed Dieter and Xialulu in the sky and exclaimed, Ha ha of course you killed your leader, and you still expect Dieter to let your leader go when he shows up? Grey scoffed. The erratic eyes of the laser acted immediately, damn it, I will never let you escape. Gah. After speaking, his body immediately ejected and attacked Dieter in the air. Go to death, dare to trouble Dieter. Grey was unmoved, and if it was Natsu taking someone away, he would definitely stop it. But Dieter, isn't this meant to die? Grey sneered and watched quietly, watching how the fast guy was beaten with blood. Watch out Dieter. In the air, Xialulu also saw the laser blocking them for the first time and immediately reminded Dieter in exclamation. What? Dieter sneered. The red light flashed in his eyes, and the overlord color that only aimed at the laser was released instantly. Even if the domineering momentum is only aimed at individuals, it also forms a ripple in the air. And the speed of the laser was very fast, and it came to Dieter when needed. Just about to kick off. It just feels like being stared at by a terrifying prehistoric beast. That kind of furious aura caused the blood in his body to surge and the magic power also went wrong because of this. The body with a dry cough lost its balance and fell weakly towards the bottom. The prehistoric beast-like aura made him lose his fighting spirit in an instant, and his heart was filled with fear, as if his brain was constantly driving him to escape. That momentum really made him feel scared. He had never encountered a situation that made him dare not continue to attack. Damn it! The laser fell from the air, half kneeling on the ground, cold sweat oozing from his forehead, and his arms were shaking. What the hell is that? The laser looked up with difficulty and saw Dieter's figure in the air. When the terrifying momentum was released, it felt hopeless, dead, and unreachable like a cliff in the sky. Okay dot 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 awesome. Gray swallowed with sincerity and admiration, he didn't feel the imposing manner that he figured out with a laser. But just one look can make this tough guy lose in an instant, which is enough to prove how powerful Dieter was just now. Really getting stronger. What's going on? Something seems to have happened just now. Xialulu was puzzled, and Dieter looked down at Gray and the laser. Speak. Grey, be optimistic about your opponent, you can't deal with such a weak guy. When I go back and come back, if you haven't solved him, when this matter is over, you will be trained by me. Get ready, Humphrey. Great Sandir snorted coldly, I don't need you to remind me, I'll get rid of him soon. Dieter smiled and said nothing. After sweeping the laser, he continued to fly with Wendy towards the distance. Xialulu followed without knowing why. After the person left, Grey also looked back and muttered, It's getting late, I have to get rid of you quickly. That guy Dieter didn't say anything casually. If you don't get rid of you in time, you can wait until you go back. Really unlucky. Ah, when he's gone, aren't you waiting to lose? The laser also recovered. Thinking about it now makes me shudder. That guy named Data is horrible. Damn it. Grace wears and fights the laser again. AI 1.1 where Lucy arrests. Lucy is worried about Urza who has been spreading his arms all day long. The toxin is spreading again. Why haven't Natsu and the others come back? Next to Latus, who has ancient writing magic, replied. It doesn't matter, I'm looking for them. His hands were constantly pressing like operators on the keyboard. It was like a pair of magic hands passing quickly. Lucy, in the air, Dieter led Xialulu down and came to them. Brother Dieter, it's great that you're finally back. Lucy rejoiced. Dieter nodded. Here Wendy is placed beside Urza and said, Wendy fell into a syncope due to overuse of magic, and she can wake up in a while, and people don't have to worry about it if they find it. Lucy agrees. Here is a brief chat about saving Wendy and what happened in the deep forest. Chapter 87 it doesn't matter if the speed is fast, you must know the skills. It didn't take long for Wendy to wake up and use healing magic to heal Urza. Okay, since Urza is alright, then I'll go to deal with Horatian Says. You all remember to go together later. Don't act alone, Horatian Says's individual strength is still very threatening to you. After confirming that the injury on Urza's arm disappeared, Dieter left immediately after a simple order. Use the knowledge color to quickly lock on a certain target and rush over there. In a rare grassland, Grey is on a motorcycle and Leon is racing against the laser. Success? No, not like success. Leon in the back seat spoke. The laser relied on extraordinary speed to change positions in the air, saying, it's time to end the game. Boom. He charged with great speed and smashed the motorcycle that Leon and Grey were riding. Damn it, I have to beat him quickly. 
or Dieter will call me, Ice, Grey said. Is it him? Sure enough, it's not just me who is afraid of him, even if you are also very afraid, Leon of Ice agrees. Both of them made ice shapes with both hands. Great tape. Hammer soldier. A great tape made of ice and a giant hammer attacked the laser. You two's modeling magic speed is quite fast. 25. Laser compliments. However, his body was moving so fast that Grey and Leon couldn't catch his figure at all, couldn't keep up with his speed, and all the attacks couldn't hit him. It's good to be fast, but it's still early. With one punch and one kick, the laser kicked Grey and Leon down again. The figure quickly left again. It is impossible for you to keep up with my speed. La, the speed of the laser is very fast. When moving, no one can be seen at all, and even Grey and Leon find it difficult. You can't attack him at all. Grey spoke indignantly, clearly outraged at the feeling. Leon's timely persuasion. Calm down, Grey, pay attention, he's at four o'clock. Boom. The voice just fell. I saw that the rushing laser was instantly hit by a figure in the back, smashed into the ground, and smashed the surrounding soil. Dieter, it's you. Grey and Leon saw both figures. The former looked bitter for a while but he still didn't have time to deal with this guy. Speed is a good thing, you think, but skill is more important, Dieter muttered. Half bent, put one hand in his pocket and the other hand clasped the laser's head tightly, tying him to the ground. Looking at Grey's eyes full of sarcasm. Damn it. Grey was looked at very hard, he read a lot of things from that gaze, and also retorted, this guy's speed is too fast. He hasn't found a chance yet. Hey, yes, although Leon didn't know why Grey was so uncomfortable, but he knew that as a senior brother, this meeting should help to say good things, so he also agreed very much. Your observations are not careful enough, Dieter explained, it's true that he is a speed magician, but a person's speed has a lot to do with his physique. With such a fast speed, his attack power is definitely not weak. Do you think about the heavy attack he hit on you? I can barely implement his speed now, but if I kick you, you will be seriously injured if you don't die so there is a big problem. Here Dieter explain. Both Leon and Grey couldn't help but ponder, patiently reminiscing about the battle just now, thinking about it carefully, this laser seems to have no attack power except for its speed? Is there really a problem? Is his speed extremely fast under your perception? If you are locked by your own intuition, you may really not think of the meaning of this, try to jump out and see, Dieter said. Answer to Leon and Grey, on the surface, he is a magic to increase his speed but in fact it is a magic to reduce the sense of speed of people within a certain range of himself, so that his speed is very high in your perception. Quick, Latilda, Grey and Leon suddenly felt a sense of enlightenment. Try again, Dieter let go of the laser, and the latter immediately pulled away with speed. Leon fights him, and Grey is farther away, and you'll see after a while and you'll know each other, Dieter said. Then look at the laser, give you a chance to live. Lay I wanted to object. But seeing Diet reminded him of the fear he had never felt before. Had to accept fate. Leon nodded immediately. This side attacked the laser, while Grey ran towards a long distance. Dieter let go of the field and let them fight at will. Watch quietly. Soon, Grey, who was clearly visible in the distance, also ran back with a smile. Really, Leon, go and see from a distance. Yes, Leon was also curious, and immediately gave the laser to Grey, while he rushed towards the distance intending to see what it felt like. Humphrey, are you playing me like a monkey? The clay figurine was still three-pointed, after seeing Dieter leave him at a certain distance for a while. The red fear in his heart also retreated at any time. Ul spoke angrily and frantically attacked Grey, trying to kill this enemy first. Humphrey, I have understood your speed, and now I am not weaker than you. Grey said and hurriedly attacked the laser. Dieter, who was not far away, continued to watch the battle, and when Leon returned with confidence, he knew that the two of them knew everything clearly at the moment. Since you have seen it clearly, it is time for me to end the battle. Dieter approached the laser slowly. The laser body couldn't help but retreat, gritted his teeth and shouted angrily, My speed is absolute. As long as you get close to me, no one can keep up with my speed. Leon and Grey also thought of this moment really. I suddenly felt that in melee combat, even Dieter would not be able to deal with his opponent, so there is no defect in reducing the somatosensory speed within a certain range at close range. Yeah, no one's your opponent in melee. Dieter laughed. His eyes flashed red mocking. But you have to use magic. Moment. The laser was once again shrouded in a terrifying aura, and at the same time, both body and mind lost the will to fight. The magic within the body seems to be suppressed. Impossible to mobilize at all. Gritting his teeth, he wanted to forcibly resist the terror in his heart, and wanted to unleash magic. Can you still use your speed now? System. Dieter came to the laser in an instant using the navy six, and stuck his neck with his hand. I am Rashin says, six demons, and six prayers. These six pillars will never collapse. Anyone who wants to shake these pillars will only have a dead end. The laser was struggling in Dieter's hands. It's not over yet. The laser roared, and reached out to open his jacket, revealing a circular prop with a flashing red light. He said grimly, this battle is betting on my reputation as a Rashin says. I absolutely do not accept losing like this. Drop drop. That is, that thing should be the magic crystal bomb. 
he will perish with us. 323 Grey and Leon exclaimed immediately. Together? Ugh. Dieter laughed at the red lip bomb. Are you worthy? Arms are black. Armed colors covered his arms. Dieter's eyes were ruthless, and he murmured. Six types of profound truths. Six kings spear. Hum. Boom boom boom. The explosion sounded. The magic crystal bomb did not explode, but his carrier, the laser was covered in blood and did not know whether to live or die. The shockwave generated by the six forms profound truth directly causes huge damage to the internal organs. In the same way, the inside of the magic crystal bomb can also be destroyed. No matter how powerful it is, is a misfired bomb still a bomb? Puff Tilda, Dieter threw the immortal laser on the ground. Turning around and smiling, he waved to Leon and Grey. Don't worry, how could I make the bomb explode? Leon and Grey both breathed a sigh of relief. They were really worried that the magic crystal bomb just now would explode. Okay. You guys have a good rest, I'll deal with the next person. Dieter waved away. Somewhere in a cave. Ah, Arashin says chief brain covered his head, his eyes were bloodshot, laser actually disappeared. The mark on his face disappeared. This also means that Arashin says loses two corners and is about to collapse. Brain said in pain. He was remorseful, I was too careless and underestimated the enemy. Turning to look at the person who was sleeping on the blanket, he said, I didn't expect that I would have to wake this guy up. Midnight. Midnight on the blanket opened sleepy eyes. He got off the blanket, rubbed his head and looked at Brain. Leave none of those guys and kill them all, Brain ordered. Midnight replied. Yes, father. Chapter 88. Against the Dragon Slayer. I can hear your actions too. Rumbling dash. Dieter, who was looking for his next target in the woods, heard a violent shaking. The whole forest was shaking constantly. I didn't expect it to start so soon. It looks like time is running out. Dieter muttered, immediately speed up the search for the next target and prepare for a quick decision. See the color. With all his strength, Dieter locked on the target and rushed over there. Rumble. Boom. Obviously, Horatian says would not give him the chance to wait. The easygoing forest shook. The entire Nirvana distance shook, and a huge old city was squeezed out of the ground. Nirvana is the real rebirth at this time. In a short while, Dieter rushed into the old and dilapidated city full of ancient charm. Just happened to run into other people one after another. Lucy, what about her? Dieter looked at Lucy and was busy asking, looking at Lucy's appearance, he seemed to have had a fight, but he didn't know who he was with. Brother Dieter, Miss Ayrasha and Wendy went to look for Joel. When I came, I also met the awakened angel. Fortunately, we narrowly won. Lucy said hurriedly. Dieter was stunned. I'm sorry, I thought that angel woman would still be dead for a long time. I didn't expect that she would still have the strength to fight with you. Dieter apologizes. To rescue Wendy, throw Sono into the cave and let her fend for herself. Unexpectedly, instead of being fine, he woke up and had a fight with Lucy, looking at the key on Lucy's waist. He also understood that if Nasano's celestial spirit had really fallen into her hands, I get it, forget Herza and Wendy, you go to Natsu and Grey. Dieter didn't hesitate, after giving Lucy the order, he immediately rushed towards the target within his perception, as for Erza, he doesn't need to worry. Now is not the past, and Erza will never betray the center of the dilapidated city. Fire dragons roar on the central roof of Nirvana's drive, happy leads Natsu to head brain. Cobra? Don't let him mess around here. The head resisted the fiery flame and immediately ordered the cobra. Okay, could be Leon. Cobra agreed immediately, waving and commanding the big snake beside him. The big purple snake swam and rammed towards Natsu in the air. At the same time, the big snake's tail dragged the cobra up and threw it out instantly. The cobra clenched its fist and rushed up to give Natsu a punch, spinning Natsu several times in the air before stopping. I can hear your actions clearly. The serpent spread out its wings in the air, and the same Natsu flew in the air alerting each other to each other. That's it, let's play. Cobra noticed Natsu's increasing concentration and was very satisfied. Broken pieces. Clap. In the air, Natsu and Cobra kept colliding. Maybe Natsu was kicked out every time, and he couldn't even touch Cobra's body. Damn it, really totally missed this guy. Natsu watched Cobra's heart become heavier and heavier. In the collision just now, he knew the trajectory of action in advance, and gave him a violent counterattack. It's strange. Did he use some kind of magic? Happy also finds it strange. Natsu said troubledly, I heard that Grey said that he failed to defeat one of the Arashin Say's members in time, he was already thinking of Dieter, and he would start training when he got back. That guy Dieter won't let me go. He has to get rid of one of the Arashin Say's members before he gets here. Natsu's face was ugly. The training camp is not terrible, what is terrible is the forced special training, which seems to be a terrible training after listening to Grey. He didn't want to be targeted by Dieter. Let's come on. Happy, we must try to take down these two guys, at least one, Natsu said hastily. Okay, Happy agreed to charge Natsu again, but no matter how his fist could touch Cobra's body, no matter how fast he was, he would be caught and attacked. It's useless, no matter how hard you struggle, I can't let you ruin our hopes, go ahead and have fun. Cobra spoke arrogantly, bang 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 bang. The battle continues, once again, the Cobras took the opportunity to knock Natsu out, but this did not immediately attack, instead, 
His eyes looked a little dignified to the east. What's up? Natsu also looked over curiously, and there was a figure flying slowly in the distance to the east. A voice I haven't heard before. It looks like you are the one who defeated Solo and Cobra said. Dieter hovered quietly after flying over, smiling at the current scene. I finally found it. Dieter, Dieter. Natsu and Happy suddenly liked to shout. It looked like you guys are in a tough fight, too. Dieter replied with a smile. Natsu and Happy laughed in embarrassment. Then leave the next battle to me. Dieter looked at the Cobra and added, By the way, when you go back, you and Grey will undergo a one-week training camp. I found a boat that was close to the volcano and was still moving. I will give you a training camp at that time. Gah. So uncomfortable. Natsu hung his mouth and tried to vomit when he heard Dieter's words. Obviously very resistant to that kind of place. Dieter, this guy's magic is so weird that he can't hit it no matter how hard he tries. Happy reminded. Dieter nodded at the cobra and the serpent beneath his feet. If I remember correctly, that snake is a very nice girl, right? It's useless, I can hear any of your attacks, as long as people move, there will be sounds, and I can hear them. Cobra disagreed. Dieter raised an eyebrow. Second gear. Raise your arm and swing it, instantly entering the second gear. Without waiting from the cobra's words, he moved quickly and when he came to the sky above him, he aimed at him and punched. It's useless, I can hear you. Cobra smiled smugly, twisted slightly, and the punch was wiped from the side and missed. Yo. However, he was just happy. There was a sudden pain in his stomach, and Dieter's fist suddenly hit his stomach. Hit. How did it hit? Didn't that guy hear it? Happy overjoyed. And Natsu felt very strange. Obviously he could predict the move when he heard it, but why didn't he avoid it? Cough cough. Cobra also widened her eyes, and her body panicked in disbelief. You, he didn't understand, why this punch appeared here, shouldn't it brush past him and be caught by himself? Why does the audible fist suddenly change direction? What exactly is going on? Brain, the leader below, is also a little weird. Cobra's ability is quite powerful. His powerful voice magic is enough to deal with everyone, no matter what kind of attack. He can predict in advance. But why was it shot? Could it be that it was water? Do not. It can't be the release of water. There must be a secret in it. Why can't you notice it? Dieta put on a smile and asked with a playful look at the dumbfounded Cobra. Cobra didn't speak. He couldn't figure out why he didn't foresee the sudden change in the trajectory of that punch. It's very simple. I can predict your movements too. Dieta laughs. Shock. Shocked. Okay. Cobra's eyes widened and looked unique in disbelief. What did you just hear? Can he also predict the actions of others? This. How is it possible? Absolutely impossible, how could he have this ability? Wrong. Absolutely not. Even if he can predict, it shouldn't be able to let me not predict the sudden change of the punch. Cobra thought. Happy and Natsu over there were also stunned. It's amazing, Dieter can actually do such weird things. It's amazing. Natsu surprises. After all, he is the strongest person in the guild. There are really too many mysteries on his body. Impressive. Happy also really admired it. Dieter disagreed. This cobra's voice magic was similar to seeing and seeing, and although the current level was low and temporarily unable to hear other people's voices and thoughts, it was still easy to perceive other people's things. In the same way, domineering can also develop resistance to such things as sound magic, so that he cannot know the direction of the attack. It's all small details, so cobra's near unsolvable magic was useless for Dieter. Chapter 89 Dieter vs. Poison Dragon Slayer Impossible Cobra secretly said, driving the big snake under his feet to charge towards Dieter. He didn't believe that his magic could still be countered by someone else. It must have been a coincidence just now. As he spoke, he was ready to fully cheer up and do his best to deal with it. He must not let that kind of thing happen again. Ha ha, I don't believe in evil. Dieta laughed, raised his hand slowly, clenched his fist, and hit the cobra. I heard. The cobra was smiling, his ears were squirming constantly, and his eyes were staring at the fist, ready to be humiliated by snow. Do not. Suddenly. The fist in the eyes moved rapidly. Even if his ears heard the trajectory of the fist, he was surprised to find that he had no way to resist. His speed is too slow. If he couldn't keep up with such a fast speed, even if he knew where the fist fell, he could only bear the power of this fist in vain. Hum. The fast-moving fist was covered in black armament. It hit a few centimeters in front of the chest very quickly, but the cobra didn't wait for it to be happy, and only felt a strange force penetrated through the body to the end. Puff. The internal organs were severely injured and bombarded and blood was scattered from the mouth in an instant. How can it be? The cobra's indomitable momentum has declined, and the spirit has shrunk a lot. The body was weak and wanted to slip off the big snake, but fortunately the big snake was holding his body in a hurry. Dieter exhaled, adjusting the strength in the group. A bang stunned the cobra. Overlord color activated. At that moment, the cobra only felt that his body was cold, and the whole person seemed to fall into the eternal ice cave. Both body and mind were shaking uncontrollably. Trembling, he looked up only to see the figure of the other side hanging high, those blood-red eyes looked at him as if looking down at a mortal, and his heart rose with a sense of powerlessness. There is a pitiful feeling of being an ant, hissed Tilda. Suddenly, the cobra heard the neighing sound of the snake, 
and immediately broke through the terrifying momentum. Ah, it seems that Dragon Slayer is really difficult to deal with. Dieter raised his eyebrows and looked at Cobra, who had broken free from the domineering aura, and said with a smile, Dragon Slayer 357. For a moment Natsu and Happy froze, thinking Dieter had said something wrong. But the Cobra was very strange. I didn't expect you to know that I am Dragon Slayer. Shock. It really is. Dragon Slayer. Natsu was stunned. He didn't even realize that this person belonged to the same Dragon Slayer as him, which he couldn't have seen if Dieter hadn't said it. Come on, let me see the power of the poisonous Dragon Slayer. Dieter smiled and invited the fight. The Cobra grinned and shrouded in a dark, poisonous mist, and attacked Dieter. It uses poison Dragon Slayer magic. The fangs of the poisonous dragon. The poisonous mist on the cobra's hands formed instantly, and they formed the mouth of the big snake to charge at Dieter. Finger gun ban. Looking at the serpent's mouth parts, Dieter raised his hands and released the navy six. The hands turned into after images and smashed towards the Sheka constantly, and air waves were launched from the hands. Although the air waves were weak, their power was superior. The two attacks collided instantly. Bang. With a loud bang, the attack of the two exploded instantly shattering the ancient building next to it. Dieter also landed on the roof of a building. Poison Dragon's Claw. The cobra immediately took the next attack. Its arm turned into a dragon scale animal hand. Its sharp claws slashed forward, and four huge scratches were blood red and dark purple. It also seems to be extremely poisonous. Your voice magic has no effect on me, but my perception is not affected. What are you using to fight me? What? Dieter's figure flashed away from the roof in an instant, and the huge scratches scratched the entire building, and with a swipe, the roof was neatly cut into several layers like tofu. Let's have a bloody battle. Dieter's fists were full of armed colors, and he rushed towards the cobra, fighting with a savage fight. What? Cobra sneered and turned both hands into sharp claws like dragon scales, clenching his fists and slamming Dieter without showing weakness. CFBB. Boom boom dash. Bang bang bang. The blood red and purple poisonous mist collided with the pure black armed color one after another. The poisonous mist slowly began to spread. Cobra would occasionally be hit by Dieter's powerful fist causing a lot of blood to spill out of his mouth. The blood did not drip, but turned into a poisonous mist and wrapped around the two people in the air. Ha 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 Tilda. Cobra laughed wildly. Melee combat with the poisonous dragon is the worst decision you made. Even if you don't breathe, the surrounding poisonous mist will penetrate into your body through your skin. Physical paralysis, sluggish action, and lack of clarity of perception. These negative drawbacks will all reappear and then it will be your time to lose. Ha 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 Tilda. Cobra became more and more excited. His eyes were full of ferocious coldness, and the movements of his hands were even more violent. The power continued to climb with his emotions, from being passively beaten at the beginning, to those who can already be hit uniquely. Even if it is unable to hit the unique body, it will not be so easy to be hit. Toxin? Poison fog? Natsu rubbed his fists and wanted to step forward to help, but according to what the Cobra meant, it would be more and more disadvantageous for them to not be able to play for a long time. Didn't Dieter find out? He was anxious and wanted to call Dieter to his attention. But now the two of them are fighting fiercely, and the call will interrupt Dieter, so don't do it. Bang bang bang. Once again, the bones of Dieter's whole body seemed to be in a carnival. This kind of confrontation between the bodies was really comfortable, and this feeling was simply exciting. You're expecting toxins, ah. Dieter laughed. The poisonous mist of the poisonous dragon was indeed inhaled a lot. But knowing the ability of the rubber fruit, he is now immune to toxins. If the cobra manipulates the toxins to carry out physical attacks, it will naturally be effective, but do you want the toxins to stop the side effects? Just a daydream. Have you ever thought that I might be immune to toxins? Dieter said with a playful expression, still banging fists against Cobra, letting the poisonous mist enter his body. Not only did it not bring any negative effects, even his strength was still rising. Impossible. Of course Cobra wouldn't believe it. As the power continued to strengthen here, the poison dragon's moves were also used one after another. The unique is still the second gear in the offense. Hee <laughs> hee. It's time for this boring fight to end, you should go down, Dieter said. Seeing the fists that came in again, Dieter stopped resisting. Body tilted, cleverly dodged the dragon claw that was brewing poison. Dieter's hands were folded and spread, at a slow pace, in front of the cobra's body. Fr. Cobra immediately activated its divine ear to hear what Dieter was going to do. But he didn't expect that Dieter didn't think about anything at this moment, and he didn't have even the slightest thought in his heart, so he couldn't hear his thoughts at this time. Six Types of Profound Truth the largest wheel six king's spear, hum, unprecedented power emerged, and the bottomless power made Cobra's heart tug, the body was instantly cold and numb, he could hear the desperation coming from the muscles all over his body at this moment, that is the message of death, the horror of death was something he had never experienced before, boom boom dash, boom explosion, the violent power exploded in the body instantly, cough, blood spewed out of the Cobra's mouth, this time it was very big, and his face instantly turned pale. His body could not stand. Consciousness is also faintly showing signs of dissipating, 
and a lot of strength in the body is disappearing. His body fell, falling from the body of the giant snake, falling from the air, he fell rapidly. He saw the giant snake rushing towards him. At this moment, he did not know where to get the strength to wake up his consciousness, and even though his life was in jeopardy, he still kept it. Puff, the cobra was held up by the snake at the moment it fell to the ground, which was not enough to let him fall to his death. Impressive, Natsu and Happy, who had been fighting in the air all the time, also immediately burst into shining stars. You're too good dieter, there's nothing I can do about that guy. Natsu was ecstatic. Let Happy fly him to dieter's side. Dieter smiled, his body fell from the air, and when he was about to reach the ground, he would consider whether to make up the knife or not. Fall from the sky. Hiss. After seeing the enemy, the giant snake immediately roared at dieter hoarsely as if trying to deter Dieter with his voice. This big snake must taste delicious. Dieter rubbed his chin and joked at the snake, unable to hide his tongue. When fishing, water snakes are often caught, and each time they will have a full meal. Sigh Tilda. The giant snake made a silent protest, as if condemning Dieter's snake-eating behavior. I won't lose. Absolutely not. The cobra also seemed to know that his partner was in danger, so he held up his precarious body and protected his good friend until the last moment. Boom. At this moment, the back of the cobra was hit by a green light. Everyone was shocked. The cobra also couldn't believe it, and turned to look at Brain, the leader who did not know when it appeared behind him. Enough is enough, cobra. Brain, the leader, holds the skull magic wand. Cobra asked suspiciously, Sir, what are you doing? I think you did a good job, take a good rest. Brain replied with a smile. But the cobra subconsciously drives the divine ear to hear the voice of the head. At this moment, HMPH, you're just a fake dragon slayer after all. I don't need the six demons who will lose to the regular guild, it's rubbish. The leader brain also seemed to notice something, and smiled and replied, Hey, did you hear that? Cobra appears to be unaware of this situation. Tears welled up in my eyes, damn it. The precarious body was severely injured again, making him unable to support him any longer. His body swayed, his eyes began to blur, and he couldn't accept it when he looked at his good friend who was spitting out a snake core. My prayer, I just always wanted to hear the voice of one and only one friend. Could please, puff. He stretched out his hand to touch his good friend, but the hand still lost its strength only halfway out. Dying on the ground. Seeing all this, Natsu said softly, Cobra. He gritted his teeth and threw his fists and asked angrily, You guy, isn't he your partner? The leader brain spoke with a half smile, Partner, this kind of thing, as much as you want in the future, as long as there is the power of Nirvana, this kind of person is not a partner at all, just a puppet. Natsu was angry. The leader brain didn't care, don't pick on my language, I really like your real dragon slayer. You should know what I mean. Looking down at Natsu, I'll make you my first puppet. Clap clap Tilda. Dieter reached out and clapped. Yes, well spoken, emotionally enduring, strong and great. After taking a few steps forward, he narrowed his eyes and looked at Brain, the leader in front of him, and said, Should I ask my opinion, it's better to be good, isn't our guild's trouble a little bad? Immediately, Dieter showed a sudden realization, and counted, There are three more, you, Midnight, Hot A's, who do you think will be knocked down? The head brain had a stubborn expression on his face. Trust me, don't try to bring a Rashin says down, or the consequences are not what you want to see, he said. Dieter laughed. Dieter, I'll take him down. Just as he was about to speak, Natsu forced himself to get up from the ground, and came to Dieter to ask for help. Dieter thought for a while and then nodded, if that's the case, then I'll teach you, and I'll deal with other people. Right. Leave immediately after speaking. The battle turns into Natsu happy versus brain. Chapter 90. Dieter vs no president. Brain the leader at the moment, is weak. This is also the reason why Dieter will give it to Natsu. What he wants to see is the character none, so he will go to defeat the other six members first. Strong opponents are hard to come by, and the guys like Tartaros are stronger, but they are too powerful and can't beat them, so they can only gradually strengthen their strength. Go to midnight, don't know what's going on with Urza. Dieter swept over Natsu and Brain in front of him, and the two of them were fighting hotly. No more memories and turned to look for Urza and Midnight. Dilapidated city. On the street of the old building, Urza was wearing a long-distance clothes with one eye closed, and a big sword in one hand. How could my proud hallucinations be invalid? Kneeling on the ground at midnight, his body was seriously injured and was on the verge of fainting. He roared and questioned you oh oh unwillingly. It's a pity that magic that works on the eyes doesn't work for me. Urza also had injuries and looked miserable. But fortunately the final victory belonged to her. Midnight opened his mouth wide. His eyes revealing helplessness and weakness. How come, my strength is the strongest, surpassing my father, the strongest six demons, and will not lose to anyone. Puff. He fell to the ground at midnight and raised his arms with difficulty. My prayer is to sleep peacefully in a corner where no one is there, my father. He fell. Dieter also came. I also saw this scene before walking through the old city to the street. I didn't expect Midnight to be defeated, 
or the delay was a little long before, Dieter stepped out and watched Midnight on the ground. He raised his head to look at Jell at this moment, and he looked a lot more pleasing to the eye, as long as he didn't harass Ida. Dieter, why are you here? Ida walked to Dieter's side in a panic, and when he saw that he was watching Jell, he sorted out the language a little before telling the previous story. So, that's why you're dating someone behind my back? Dieter raised his eyebrows and looked at Ida playfully. The latter was embarrassed for a while, and sighed and said, Jell lost his memory and the purpose of my awakening him was to make him repent with repentance, not to die. But Data opened his mouth, shook his head and said no more, forget it, Jell he, hey, that's it. No more tuba. Data swept over Jell and turned to head towards Brain again. The purpose of his coming here is to get rid of Midnight, to wake up the consciousness of the leader Wu, and then defeat him with his own hands, but he didn't expect Midnight to be solved by Erda, so there is no need to continue to stay. As for Erda and Jell, he felt that he should change his mentality not to follow Erda all the time, but also to make her feel a crisis. She doesn't cherish it. Dieta, seeing Dieta turn around and leave, Erza thought he was angry and immediately called out his name and grabbed him to explain. Boom. The ground shakes. Its powerful magic comes from a location in the center of the city far away. What happened? El immediately looked over there in exclamation, thinking that Dieta came from there, and also looked at him waiting for his explanation. The leader of Arashin says has a personality that is purely destructive, and that personality is called nothing. For this reason, the leader of Arashin says sealed six locks, representing Arashin says. Now the members of Arashin says have been defeated, that nothing personality awakens. This is just the imposing manner caused by his magic power, and it is also very powerful, Dieter explained casually, without pausing, throwing Urza's hand away and walking over there. Urza opened his mouth and still didn't explain. I'm going to solve the no president, you geese find a way to stop Nirvana, this is your task. It has nothing to do with me. Dieter waved and disappeared instantly. Erasha looked at the disappearing Dieter and didn't know when to think. He is? Jell asked curiously behind him. Erasha explained, my boyfriend, he rescued me when he came out of Tower of Heaven. We joined Fairy Tale together, and then we got together. He Jell wondered, it seems to be very hostile to me, I knew him before? Erasha said, well, it was he who knocked you down and melted you into the waste crystal to stop you from falling into the dark. When you want to kill me. He naturally doesn't want to. Jell bowed his head. After a long silence, he said sincerely, Then I really have to thank him. Do you need me to explain it to you? He seems to have misunderstood. Dot 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 for flowers. Erza put away the weapon in his hand and picked up the red hair he tasted, and refused with a smile. No, I will explain it to him alone when I go back. Nirvana's passage to the interior. After Dieta came back, Natsu and the others were lying on the ground at the moment. They were impersonal who could not be beaten to wake up. Let them do the thing about destroying the passage and I'll take the nun down, Dieta muttered, seeing and hearing color activated. The target at the moment is locked in an instant. I walked towards the number one passage, intending to solve the nothing as soon as possible. Inside channel one, Dieta walked in and saw that President Wu was here. Yo I'm ready to die, Dieta greeted. President Wu also revealed a smile after seeing Dieta, speaking of which, I would like to thank you very much, it seems that you defeated the trash of Arashin says, and this freed me. Ah, Dieta nodded with a smile, so you have to thank me. Why don't you kill yourself now? Don't get a box lunch. Boom boom. President Wu exploded the magic within his body. There was a strong momentum lingering in the room where the magic crystal was stored. You think you're the only one who gets mad, Dieter said. In an instant, the overlord color was released. Stronger and more terrifying than President Wu, a more powerful momentum erupted and squeezed towards him. At that moment, there was no guild leader's eyebrows, and he deeply felt the terrifying aura. His eyes were also quite serious, and he was also shocked by Dieter's aura. Interesting kid, President Wu replied, Dieter raised his brows and said disapprovingly, so don't get angry at every turn, fights have to mean fights, it's useless to be angry, you're not weak, I'm not weak, that level of anger can interfere with anyone not the other party, ah, President Wu still sneered, system, Dieter didn't say much and immediately used the ability to flash in front of President Wu, finger gun, the navy sixth form was released, and the fingers became hard and moved towards President Wu's heart, it's not a big man, but it's quite ruthless. Without the president talking, the muscles of the whole body were instantly tense, and as he was slightly sinking, he put all the defensive power in his heart and indulged this move. Second, Chapter 91. The Incompetent Rage Without the President. Artilda. The sound of the collision of steel and steel reverberated. Dieter's random pointing pistol attack did not work, and was resisted by the strong defense of the presidentless. Instead, Dieter's fingers tingled. It's my time to attack. President Wu raised his arms and clenched his fists accumulating surging power, hit hard, it is also the position of the heart, both sides have made a killing move, and no one can carelessly despise, iron block, without the president's hard steel finger gun, Dieter naturally couldn't back down, his waist sank, 
His feet were slightly apart and he squatted down. Duang, heavy muffled sound, Dieter easily resisted the punch without the president, and then immediately counterattacked, and the rhythm of the battle began to be deliberately accelerated by Dieter. Finger gun spot, countless 403 finger guns were fired. He was also dissatisfied without the ability of the president to respond, and immediately changed his attack method after his punch did not expect any effect. The punched fist stretched out his index and middle fingers, ignoring Dieter's dense finger gun attacks. He aimed at Dieter's forehead and released magic, Chang and Fantasia Tilda, green magic and gold and red flames intertwined at the fingertips. A penetrating and powerful magic beam was instantly released, and the periphery of the green beam was swirled by golden red flames, enhancing its destructive power and penetration. Cut. Dieter was always on, unless he voluntarily and the other party were faster, it was impossible for him to be hit by any move. At the moment when no president used magic, seeing the color, he sensed the angle of the magic beam, and his body immediately retracted his attacking hands. The body twisted to avoid the penetrating attack. Boom tilde. The building where the magic beam pierced the ground sank into the ground. Don't think this is the same as the leader's move. President Wu said a word, and the two fingers that were raised together drove the wrist to move back and forth in the air immediately. Boom. With the movement of his fingers, the submerged magic beam miraculously broke through the wall under Dieter's feet, and pierced towards Dieter's chin with strong penetration. If this were an ordinary person or a very weak magician, he would definitely be destroyed by the powerful magic beam that penetrated his chin directly from below and died here. But Dieter would not be hit by such a trick, seeing the color is perceiving. The same degree of hardness of his body is impossible to be hit. The head patted lightly. The magic beam passed from the tip of the chin, only a few millimeters away. Dieter could clearly feel the temperature of the flame that revolved around the beam. Second gear. Rubber jet machine gun. At the same time, Dieter's arms moved towards the back instantly pumping into second gear like an air pump. Attack again fiercely. D-A-D-A-D-A tilde. The fists that are too much slammed into the body of President Wu. President Wu didn't have time to observe the changes in Data's body, thinking that this series of attacks was the same as the previous one. He ignored the defense and gave up. Concentrate on manipulating the magic beam to continue turning to attack Data. But when a series of fists slammed into the body, President Wu's complexion changed dramatically, and the feeling of pain came from all over the body. 40, he reluctantly muttered, and his red eyes also had a strong sense of difference. Only then did I realize that Data's physical changes brought about the different moves, and the power really belonged to two extremes before. Little devil, you hurt me, void whipping. President Wu roared, waving his arms at Data was a whiplash, that Chang and Whimsy has become more flexible, like a whip, and it is wielding the uniqueness in the no guild leaders waving, paper painting. Data's body was instantly as flexible as a swimming fish in the sea. Passing through the dense spur marks. Damn it, kid. Always assassinate. Seeing that the attack didn't work at all. The president without the president also roared angrily. Dissipate the magic beam and wave again. A half human high magic circle appeared in front of him, and a large number of magic energy balls were released. Dense and faster energy balls slammed into Dieter frantically. Rubber jet pistol. Dieter stretched out his hands to a certain length, and used his sense of seeing and color to rush to President Wu. Those hands also rushed out with his body instantly. Yo, when Dieter rushed to the close distance of President Wu, his arms retracted extremely quickly, and the body without the president immediately felt that the body was hit by two heavy forces, and the body was hit and retreated a few meters away. There were also two ravines under his feet by that force. Cough cough. President Wu was uncomfortable, rubbing his heart and staring at Dieter gloomily. I have never used magic before, all of them are pure physical strength. But the strength of this strength is too heavy. No matter how much magic power he has, his physique is limited. Continuing to be this big can also hurt. Couldn't this guy release magic, and the contest between abnormal magic would be better? Hee hee, it looks like you're done here too. Seeing the President Wu who was beaten out, Dieter also stretched his body. The physical activity this time was not bad, and it was indeed time for the main dish. As he spoke, he raised his arm that entered the armed color and put it in his mouth. Open your mouth and take a deep breath, blowing towards it and instantly a large amount of gas is blown into your kung fu arm. Yeah. After blowing, Dieter's body was filled with condensed white smoke, which wrapped around his body, and Dieter's arms and body became much larger, and the black and red armed colors of his arms were also full of strength. Fourth gear middle dot elastic man. The body is filled with a lot of gas, and it can only use the bounce force to stabilize the body. La, President Wu grinned and put on a smile. His red eyes full of sarcasm. Are you making me happy? Congratulations on your success. But isn't it easy for you to break? The voice 1.1 fell, and his face suddenly pulled down again. Raise two fingers to release the magic again, chain and fantasia. Let me penetrate it. The magic beam rushed over quickly, with a strong penetration. Boom. The thought of penetrating Dieter's body didn't happen. President Wu saw that his powerful penetrating magic collided with his bulging belly. 
He thought he could easily penetrate it, but he did not expect that the belly was covered with black material. It actually resisted the magic. Not even the body that could not stand still was punched out. Damn. What the hell is that black substance? Why can it stop my piercing magic? President Wu was angry. The inability to destroy one after another also made his mentality not so calm, and he could not wait to eat him alive immediately. Angrily questioned and roared. Chapter 92. Destroy Nirvana. Ah. Dietus neared and didn't respond. Gaben. The bouncing body exploded in an instant when the next bounce, and that huge force also caused Dieter to smash the ground. A pothole the size of a bowl appeared. At that moment, Dieter's body also quickly attacked President Wu. Do you think I'll let you touch me? No president said. He was even Dieter's strength, which turned into a strange appearance, and the strength and destructive power must be stronger than he imagined. At this moment, he didn't dare to underestimate him, and immediately moved his body to avoid Dieter's approach. Naturally, the eggs. Dieter's body was about to lose its strength. Just when no president was about to be happy, Dieter's feet were actually shrinking, and after the layers were squeezed into his body, waves of air erupted immediately. Under the blessing of the air wave, Dieter's rushing speed actually increased instead of decreasing. The instant acceleration also made President Wu a little different, and he didn't even have time to avoid his body. 25 It is because of his difference. The power that instantly erupted from Dieter's body pushed him in front of President Wu. Raising his right arm, the fist also began to shrink into the body layer by layer, continuously increasing the output of power. Rubber middle dot tape king cannon. When the strength is added to the extreme, Dieter strikes hard. The fist that was shrunk into the body burst out instantly, and the huge power fell like a giant beast. Damn it, I will never fall. How could it be possible for President Wu to helplessly watch the infinite power hit him, desperately dodging to the side? You're taking me too seriously and trying to escape. Dieter quipped. The fist fell, even though he was constantly dodging. His speed was still not as fast as Dieter's, and the fist fell directly on Guildmaster Wu's body. Boom boom dash. Explode. A huge explosion rang out. Everyone in Erda, who was moving towards each passage, felt this powerful vibration. Is it Dieter? Erza put on a smile after feeling the shock, and he was the only one who could play like this at this time. People in other channels also said otherwise. It's amazing. This shock is still so powerful. I don't know who it will be. It should be Brother Dieter. Ha ha. It must be Dieter. I'm burning up. I must stop Nirvana too. Men. The rumbling sound of shattering sounded. Dieter's overwhelming power was released with a bang, hitting President Wu's body, shattering the ground with him in an instant, and a terrifying hole appeared. Blast President Wu into the ground. Damn it. The lower level President Wu was angry, and he was ready to rush up again when he stepped on the ground. Although he was very embarrassed, he still had to guard the crystal ball in the first channel. Have I allowed you to come up? How could Dieter sit idly by? Urza and the others needed to break the crystal ball in the passage. He will never let President Wu make trouble at this time. A stronger force appeared on his legs, and he pressed Guildmaster Wu to pick him up and beat him down. Boom boom boom. The old building was broken open layer by layer. Dieter's fists are as heavy as a thousand pounds under the blessing of fourth gear. Even without the president, there was no way to fight Dieter in the direction of strength, and he was beaten and defeated. The body was also beaten with unbearable pain, with a ferocious look on his face. The man who lost his rhythm kept waving his fists trying to use his meager strength to resist Dieter. I wanted to control you to be my puppet. But forget it, it's useless for a guy like you to stay. Let me give you the highest realm of Wu, and I will use my most powerful magic. President Wu was furious. Seeing that he couldn't fight back, he simply gave up. Immediately after a collision, he came to distance. His hands were wrapped in dark green dark magic, and he drew a circle in the air. Using the most terrifying magic, rubber great tape king gun. Dieter is not to be outdone. The right arm shrank again and then took a deep breath and continued to inflate the arm, the arm swelled again, and the lines of the devil fruit on the body covered more comprehensively, Genesis middle dot no, disappear, go to the other side of nothing, that moment, behind the president Wu, there was a huge ghost crying door, and the undead emerged from the huge door, the undead rushed towards Dieter like a tidal wave, one by one, they opened their bloody mouths and made a piercing ghost cry, to devour Dieter's body, memory, and soul existence, to destroy him, boom, light on, the huge pitch black ape king spear was like a broken bamboo, smashing the large number of undead, going deep into the flock like a fierce tiger, and pushing everything wildly and madly. Impossible. My genesis is the most powerful. President Wu saw that his most powerful move was useless, and immediately made a sound of anger and unwillingness. Watching the black fist come, subconsciously, he crossed his hands and tried to use his weak strength to resist this move. Monument. Boom. There was no body of the president in the great ape king's gunshot. Instantly hit by a powerful force. The President Wu could no longer bear to directly spit out blood, eyeballs trembling. He just felt that everything around him was slowed down. The feeling of dying. How can it be? He couldn't accept it in his heart. The most powerful move was shattered, 
and even as powerful as he was defeated. How can such a terrible opponent? Why, in the end why did you meet yourself? Puff, silence, President Wu fell to the ground and died 433. The battle is over, Dieter. At this time, Natsu also jumped down from the magic crystal ball, apparently intending to help the battle. Kiss Natsu is here. Are you guys going to start destroying the magic crystal? Dieter replied with a smile. Natsu smiled and looked at the regretful face of Yugi on the ground. Ah, I didn't expect this person to be defeated. I haven't avenged it yet. It's a shame, it's too bad. Vegetables? Dieter also laughed when he heard Natsu's words. Maybe weak, but for others, it must be a formidable enemy. Okay, let's continue with the task of destroying the magic crystal. I'll withdraw first. Dieter waved his hand. Returning to its original shape also leaves Nirvana. Just leave the rest to them. Rumbling tilde. The huge Nirvana stopped, and the entire monster-like body continued to collapse. Those huge pillars couldn't support it either. Demon Cat's house guild. Dieter didn't care anymore after defeating the President Wu, and went directly to the guild to wait. And then he looked back after seeing Nirvana fall not far from the Demon Cat's nest. I began to seriously look at this guild that exists only for one person. Sure enough, Dieter murmured, with his level. He can clearly see that these people in the demon cat's house are fake, but they are quite remarkable characters who can persist until now. Chapter 93, Two Women Fighting for Dieter Wendy has successfully joined Fairy Tail. Dieter is not surprised by this development. The demon cat's house is also protecting Nirvana. Since Nirvana has been destroyed, the president of the demon cat's house will naturally disappear. Fairy Tail with Natsu and Urza is Wendy's best home. This day, with the blue sky and the sea breeze. They were on their return boat. I never thought it would be so comfortable to stand on a boat and blow the sea breeze. That's great, Natsu. Wow, so the transportation isn't bad. Natsu and Happy were noisily running back and forth on the boat, and it was a rare experience without seasickness. Wendy reminds, Troya is almost dead. Troya refers to magic that is effective for transport. Natsu won't get seasick after being cast by Wendy, but it can't be used often. Puff. Natsu, who was enjoying the sea breeze, felt his feet soften and his body suddenly fell to the ground. Wendy refused. If you use it continuously, it will gradually fail. You don't care about this brat. Gray grumbled. Lucy laughed and couldn't help but ask. Speaking of which, Brother Dieter didn't stay at the Demon Cat's Inn, did he leave? Elucienza's mood was also dull. Looks like he's mad, arguing with Urza. Happy whispered softly. Lucy and the others were embarrassed for a while and didn't dare to continue talking about it. Fairy tale. Horatian says intends to use Nirvana to reverse justice and darkness, that is their goal, and while a lot has happened, it has generally been dealt with. Dieter came back first to report the mission of the trip to President Makarov. So, Jell was arrested? Makarov understood and asked Dieter a little surprised. Yeah, Dieter nodded and explained. Jell was used to confuse him, so he came up with the Tower of Heaven problem, and now he has been arrested. But Natsu and the others are not willing to let the new council arrest Jell, and they have a conflict with them. Dot. Makarov sighed, the new council, those guys from the main war faction are not sympathetic. Seeing that the report was over, Dieter took his luggage and waved, since it's all right. Let's do it. I'm going on a trip. I'll meet again when I have a chance. Dieter. Urza will be back soon. Mira Jane over the spoke hurriedly, hoping that Dieter could wait a little longer to meet Urza before leaving. Dieter paused, muttering, What has it got to do with me? Since she's so easy to re-believe and trust Jell, let her go. People go. Mira Jane opened her mouth and couldn't say anything to save her. Makarov sighed, Urza is still too kind. Jell wanted to kill her before, and she still believes it unconditionally and doesn't care about Dieter's mood. This is not good. Are you going to break up? Mira Jane is also worried. I don't know when Dieter will come back after he leaves. It may take several years. Dieter is gone. Neither President Macruff nor Mira Jane knew where Dieter was going. But it seems that the mood is very complicated. Long after Dieter left, Urza and the others also returned to the guild. Urza took Wendy to the president to reintroduce this mission, and explained the follow-up demon cat's house. That's what happened, so we invited Wendy and Xialulu to join Fairy Tail said Urza. Wendy also greeted obediently. Please give me a lot of advice. So cute. There is still a mother's happy tilde. How old are you little girl? In an instant, the members of the guild gave a wildly warm welcome, eager to grab Wendy and a few glasses. Welcome all of you back safely. Mira Jane also greeted her with a smile. Urza came to the president. President. Makarov nodded. You have done a good job in this mission, so that the surrounding area will be calm for the time being. He put on a warm smile again. Of course. Wendy and Xialulu are also welcome to join our guild. Urza smiled cheerfully, scanning the guild hall and found no figure of Dieter. Unsurprisingly, he asked, did Dieter go fishing again, and where did he go this time? The smiles on Mira Jane and Makarov's faces also solidified, as if there was something unspeakable. Urza doesn't feel good, Myra, Dieter he. At this time, Mira Jane also sighed, looked at Urza with a serious expression, and said seriously, Urza, you did a very good job on this mission. 
but you didn't do well enough to deal with Jell's affairs. Mira Jane's words also quieted the noisy guild. Natsu and the others looked over curiously, not understanding what had happened. Urza opened his mouth to speak. Mira Jane stops. I don't know how you reawaken the goodness in Jell, but you shouldn't ignore Dieter's mood. It's not false that Jell is important to you, but Dieter is also a very important person. In this mission, Dieter didn't get a word of concern from you. You were with Jell from beginning to end. Urza, Dieter, he's a man, he's strong and powerful. It's true, but he's also full of lust. It is also easy to think blindly, and he will also feel tired. But what have you done for him? Silent. No one in the guild dared to say a word. All stayed silent. Urza bowed his head. Yes, Dieter is amazing and not fake, and has never been unhappy since we met. His powerful strength makes him enough to handle everything. It made her feel that Dieter should do it, not appreciate it. Seems to ignore Dieter's mood too much. Where is he? Urza asked. Mira Jane walked back to the counter to clean the tableware and said, Let's go, I'm traveling. Don't worry. I'll see him in a few years. Several years. Urza's pupils tightened. His breathing was a little short, and his tone was a little stern. Myra, why didn't you stop him? Boom. Mila patted the table and retorted. Why should I stop him? Isn't it normal to travel in a bad mood? Urza pity. Looking at Mira Jane's eyes also slowly overlapped with Myra, who had a hot temper a few years ago and was evenly matched with her. Very good. It seems that your strength has also recovered. Let's fight. Urza reached out and grabbed it, and a sharp sword. Wang Zhao, appeared in the palm of his hand. Ah, come here. Not to be outdone, Mira Jane put the plate in her hand beside her, and a surging magic power swept her body. Urza said, I won't lose to you. Mira Jane retorted, Urza, you are too kind, you still have to call me a good sister in terms of relationship. Urza explained, I'm older than you. Mira Jane was a little proud, so what? I confessed to Dieter first, and it was I who lived with him first. Urza's eyes flashed with anger, but Dieter prefers to shower with me. Dieter he prefers from behind me. Mira Jane recounts, the guild is in full swing, but this so-called heat is the heat that the grown-up members listen to. Macau listened to the increasingly embarrassing dialogue, tears welling up in her eyes, Dieter. He is good at fun. Kaba also sighed with a melancholy face, I really don't envy at all, I really don't envy, woo woo woo. Chapter 94, Evelers. In the wide forest, Mr. Gun sits in a clearing and eats grilled fish, softer. There seemed to be something in the grass not far away. Mr. Gun looked over and was vigilant. The most dangerous monsters in the wild were living monsters and many of them were extremely powerful. If you don't care, you will be attacked and seriously injured. Even if you are sleeping, you must prepare something vigilant by your side. Who? The footsteps approached, and Mr. Gun became more serious when he learned that there might be people in the grass. This place is not in front of the village and not in the back of the store. Definitely more dangerous than beast monsters, he questioned severely, and already reached out and grabbed the magic scepter behind him. Don't be nervous, my own. In the grass. Dieter stepped out and waved to Mistigan to calm down. Dieter, Mistigan breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the person. Although he didn't have much contact with the people in the guild, he knew a little bit about it. Dieter was the strongest magician other than Jirdas. During the fairy civil war, he defeated Thor and Lagosas by himself. I have to say Mistigan, your ability to hide is really strong. I have been looking for you for several days before I found it. Dieter groaned, slapped off the leaves hanging from his body because he was walking through the woods, sat opposite Mistigan at 510 reached out and grabbed the grilled fish from above the fire and ate it. The guild should be fine, although the guild leader is very strong, but it is best to leave a few S-rank mages to guard, and Urza and Mira Jane will be left after you come out. It was difficult for Mr. Gun to say a few more words. Dieter shook his head, it's nothing to do with it, buddy, I'm broken hearted and want to travel to Edler's. Urza came to Mr. Gun to ask, and as soon as he said the words, he reacted. He opened his eyes and asked with some rapid breathing, what did you say? He didn't dare to talk casually knowing that Edlers should only be a very small number of people. Dieter how would he know? It's definitely a problem to find the door at this time. Could it be from the by accident? It's not right. Dieter's arm stretching magic had been seen with his own eyes, not in Edlers. Don't be nervous, I just know about another world. Accidentally, but because I don't have an entrance, otherwise I would have traveled there long ago. Compared to this world, I yearn for Edlers more. Dieter waved to Mistigan to take it easy. That world is not good. Mistigan still refused instinctively, as the prince of another world. He could not let others go there for no reason, especially without his supervision. Has Anima opened more and more frequently in recent years? Have you ever thought about what is being planned over there? Dieter looked up at the sky. It seems that you can see another world through the sky. Draining the magic of this world, your father can't wait. They are waiting for an opportunity. They can't hide. It's better to let me in first. Maybe I can help you solve a lot of things in advance, Dieter said. Mr. Gun was still hesitating. Of course. He knew that Anima was driving more and more frequently. Unless the problems of the other world were solved, problems would arise sooner or later. Do you know listener? Dieter asked. Mr. Gun nodded and said, Mira Jane and Delfman's sister. I heard that she is a little girl who depends on you a lot, 
But she, yeah, but she's dead, that's what Mila and Elfment said, Dieter added, she's not actually dead, just like Miss Belusica, she got into Edelas by accident, and it's rare to have time now, and so do I. I'm going to take her back, Mr. Gunwalbrow. This time he didn't answer casually, because what Dieter said really shocked him. He even knew that Belusica was from that world. But now that he knows his identity, it is normal to see that Mrs. Belusica is familiar with him. Really, being able to become the most powerful among his peers in the guild is not simply relying on strength. His reasoning and IQ are absolutely terrifying. A lot of things can be inferred. I can send you in. I hope that when there is an accident, CFBB, you will be my hidden trump card. Mr. Gun thought for a long time. In the end, he agreed because he couldn't find a reason to refuse. In terms of strength, Dieter was very strong, and even no one in that world would be his opponent. In terms of relationship, although Migang is not familiar with the people in the guild, as a companion, he is willing to trust Dieter. In addition, Edelas is indeed at a very dangerous point now. Early arrangements are also good. Okay, where is the anima? Let's go there now. Dieter nodded. I can't wait to go to that world and have a good look. After all, there must be a lot of girls, so I can go to the fairy tale guild first. Wait. Well. It won't be long before the anima appears. Mr. Gunn agreed. Dieter was no longer so anxious to see this. Rumble. I don't know how long it has passed. And thunder roared in the sky. Immediately, Mr. Gunn and Dieter looked up at the sky, and saw clouds over the mountains in the distance. The dark cloud was spinning, and there was a strange hole in the middle, and a lot of magic power was unscrupulously shrunk into the other world. Not good. This anima is too huge, and it may not be able to close successfully. I'm afraid time is running out. Mr. Gun looked at the terrifying anima and regretted his powerlessness. Such a big anima is probably impossible to close. I'm running out of time. It seems that even if you send me to another world, I'm afraid you won't have time to help you clean up some garbage. After you send me in, you should hurry back to the guild, Dieter said hurriedly. Mr. Gun nodded, and the two immediately packed up and went under the hole. Goodbye Edelers. After Mr. Gun spoke to Dieter, he also manipulated magic and threw him through the hole to Edelers. Fairy tale guild. It's been raining non-stop. Lucy said looking at the pattering rain outside the window. Juvia explained, this is not caused by Juvia. There, Mira Jane put on her coat and walked outside. Ha ha, it's still the best day to date your boyfriend when it's raining, Kana said drinking heavily. Mira Jane quipped, Kana, remember to leave a little boyfriend to entertain guests. Kana asked, strange, are you going out in this weather? Myra, well, I'm going to church. Myra nodded, go outside. At the door, Erza just came in from the outside and the two women met. Have you found Dieta? Mira Jane asked. Urza shook his head without answering. Bored to find a place to sit down listless. It was cloudy outside, thunder and lightning. The rain kept falling, and the air was filled with a depressing breath. In this weather, I really don't even have the energy to do the task. Rumble. The city is gone. Chapter 95. Join the fairy tale guild in Edela's world. Edela's. Is this the new world? It's really weird. Dieta came to Edela's through Anima and immediately felt that the surrounding air was very strange. I guess it was because there was no magic power. Fortunately, my strength has nothing to do with magic, otherwise it would be very difficult. Dieter breathed a sigh of relief. The Navy Six and the Rubber Fruit ability had nothing to do with magic, so even if he didn't have time to take the pill, he wouldn't lose his strength. Look at the world again. The suspended island and the huge sphere made him feel different, and at the same time shocked those who violated the theorem in this world, River Water. Then the first stop is fairy tale. As Dieter said, a powerful sense of seeing and hearing was released instantly, spreading towards the surroundings. But it doesn't feel any presence, either because people in this world don't have magic in their bodies, or because there's no one around. Dieter frowned. His mood was mixed. Although seeing and hearing color is only level 1, and the perceptible range is not too small, it is unable to perceive any human breath. This is the first time that the target has been lost. Forget it. Go in one direction. Dieter sighed. Under the control of Moonstep. It flew towards the eastern woods. Edler's fairy tale guild was in the woods, so it was natural to come here to find it. Ah. Sign into Edler's, reward 40 skill points. The system appears in the mind. The new skill points have been successfully credited. It's 40 points again. Then fill up the overlord color first, then the armor color. Dieter made the choice without thinking. This decision was made when the decision to add a single point was made. With his orders, level 8 overlord color successfully points to the full level of level 10. The remaining 20 points are added to the armament color and the current skill levels are as follows, Navy 6 style full level, rubber fruit ability full level, overlord color domineering level 3, armament color domineering level 3, and knowledge color level 1. Go down and try the effect of the overlord's ability after the full level, Dieter muttered, fall from the sky into the woods, under the perception of seeing, hearing, and color, I also know that there are many animals here, overlord, Dieter uses domineering instantly, that powerful aura was instantly released, 
and all the animals within the range of the overlord bleed their noses and twitch to death. The trunks and trees were stunned by the momentum. There were cracks in the torso. Dieter soon discovered that the momentum of the overlord was not instantaneous, but it is still in the continuous effect. Within the shocking range of the overlord, this shocking force has changed from an instant shock to a continuous damage. Domain skills? Dieter was pleasantly surprised. Isn't this continuous damage the same as the domain skill? It is simply too strong to be able to continuously inflict continuous damage to all people within this range. Cowhide. Dieter praised that the continuous physical damage is enough to cause great trouble to the opponent. Even a powerful person would be shocked by this momentum, and it was the same as those domain skills. It can be said that Dieter has become more powerful. Marvelous. Dieter also tested single shock and instant shock and the power increased to a certain extent. It can be said that the full level overlord color has broken away from the original restrictions and entered a higher level. We can't test out the second stage increase in armament color if it's less than level 4, but I think it should be very powerful, Dieter thought. While walking, he used domineering domineering. I want to use it more proficiently and understand the duration of the overlord color. Just go. It didn't take long for some people to appear in Dieter's sensual atmosphere, which was where the Edler's fairy tale guild was located. It's finally here. Dieter walked forward happily, thinking about what to do next. Soon, a short distance away from Fairy Tail, Edler's Fairy Tail is a dark guild, and it is difficult to get them to trust. Especially at this juncture, it is very suspicious for individuals to find them directly. Looks like I'm going to use some tricks. Dieter took a deep breath, rubbed his face with both hands to make the whole person look even more ugly, and then shook his body and ran to the gate of the guild. You, he slammed the guild door hard then fell to the ground and closed his eyes. Slightly different, the people inside successfully heard the dull sound of knocking on the door, and took the cloth to open the door to see the uniqueness of falling to the ground. Everyone, come and see, here is a person who fainted, Nabu said. Other people in the guild looked over curiously. Who is this, someone you haven't seen before? Don't worry about it so much at this time, maybe it's an internal response from the kingdom's army. Yeah, hurry up and throw him out, don't let him bring him in. Good, everyone in the guild lives with nervousness and seeing strangers is also very worrying. Don't dare to have any superfluous kindness, etc. At this time, Mira Jane hurriedly stopped, squatted down and lifted Dieter's arm, and saw the badge of the fairy tale guild engraved on her shoulder. The badge of our guild, is he a member of our guild? Immediately someone exclaimed. More people began to look at Dieter's face, as if trying to tell if they had seen it before. It's very likely that people in the guild who got lost inadvertently in the past were too rushed back then, and many people didn't have time to come back after completing their tasks, Mira Jane said. Everyone else kept their mouths shut. How powerful the fairy tale used to be, but later, because the royal army banned the spread of magic among the people, many people were lost. No matter what, since it's engraved with our guild's badge, it must have something to do with us. Take him into the house and wait until he wakes up and ask before asking, Mira Jane said. A group of people also took Data into the house to prepare medicine and began to check his body for injuries. After some inspection, he was relieved. The absence of wounds also means that they did not come after being chased by the royal army which ruled out the possibility that the royal army would find it. Dot 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 for flowers. Now, Dieter, who was lying down, was also relieved. If you want to make a difference, you must join the fairy tale, and fainting and badges are the most reliable things, so he will pretend to faint to integrate into the guild. In the follow-up, you just need to rush over with this group of people. Counting the time, Dieter woke up almost after seeing him. You're awake? Mira Jane looked unique up close and somehow felt the face was friendly. You are? Dieter pretended to be confused, raised his eyebrows and asked and at the same time got up and shrank his body, looking at the group of people in front of him vigilantly. My name is Mira Jane, are you from the fairy tale guild? Mira Jane asked. Dieter suddenly had an expression as if the secret had been discovered, and immediately reprimanded in a cold tone, I don't know what you are talking about, I just want to ask for a glass of water. If you don't want to give it to me, let me go. Dieter was acting like he didn't want to be known by others. This is how they can be convinced. Don't worry, this is the fairy tale guild you can put your guard down. Nabu persuaded. Lucy also said, we have seen the badge of the guild on your arm, you can rest assured that although we are running around, this is your forever home. Dieter's face changed dramatically. He immediately folded his shoulders and sneered, he he, it seems that you already know that I am a member of the fairy tale guild, but even if you kill me, I don't know where fairy tale is. You people can't use this threat. These words also moved everyone in the guild. I am very pleased and satisfied that Dieter cannot sell the guild. Don't you remember us? It's been a few years. But you shouldn't forget it, Mira Jane said. Dieter frowned. Seriously looked at Mira Jane in front of her. Vigilance, hesitation, surprise, surprise, and finally joy. A series of expressions were used to the extreme by him, and he asked with trembling lips, Is this really from fairy tale? Mira Jane nodded. Moment. Dieter performed without saying a word, taking Mira Jane into his arms. 
It was as if the child who had run away from home had finally returned, and everyone in the guild was convinced of Data's identity. It's all right, welcome back. Mira Jane didn't push Data away, and the reason wasn't clear. It felt warm in his embrace. There is a feeling of nostalgia. She couldn't tell what was going on, maybe it was a bond between the companions. Data, on the other hand, was ecstatic. Wow Tilda. Miss Myra's body is as soft as ever. It seems that this play is also very well performed, and the next step is to fully integrate into the guild. Ding. Sign into Edela's world fairy tale. Reward 40 skill points. Sudden. The system in the brain resigns. The sudden situation also surprised Dieter. You can still sign in. B. Chapter 95. Act, then act. Originally, Dieter thought that each episode could only be signed once. Now it seems that it is not all. It should be done according to the location. Doesn't it mean that if Edela's world has Hilo, Hajj or Sirius Island, you can also check in? Thinking of that, Dieter's heart went wild. I can't wait to leave the guild immediately to find the same location in the two worlds to sign in. Always gain more skill points to level up. Fortunately, Dieter quickly calmed down and speculated that the reason for this sign-in was 80% because the fairy tale guild was too special to be able to sign in. It is estimated that the probability of being checked in elsewhere is very small. It's another 40 skill points. Let's add it directly to the armament color, Dieter muttered. He quickly manipulated the extra skill points to add to the domineering armament. Moment. 573 armed color domineering has been upgraded to level 7. Go directly to the third release stage of the armed color. At that moment, Dieter's physique became stronger, and the upgraded armament color also greatly enhanced the power of the Navy's sixth form and the ability of the rubber fruit. As long as he wishes, he can smash the internal organs without destroying the appearance of the enemy. Too strong. Excited. Dieter also pulled back and released Mira Jane, with a deep smile in his eyes. You rest well, fairy tale will always be your home. Mira Jane's kind consolation. Dieter nodded and glanced at the members of the guild, all preparing to find a way for them to fight back against the kingdom's army in this world. Dieter? At this time, a familiar voice exclaimed. Dieter, Mira Jane and others looked over, and saw a lovely short-haired girl standing at the back door not far away, who was Listener. Welcome back, Listener. Mira Jane hurriedly greeted Listener and everyone else smiled and said hello. And Data doesn't need to recognize Listener directly, because he still needs to continue acting. With a hint of doubt in his eyes, he asked, Listener, have we met before? After asking the question, he also revealed a very ashamed expression and said, I'm sorry, but I was separated from the guild a few years ago, and I have been fleeing outside, and I can't remember too many people about the guild. Mira Jane also nodded to help, Data is indeed a member of our guild. In the past few years, he was in a hurry to hide and many members did not have time to find him. Listener kept looking at the unique with suspicious eyes, as if she wanted to see something from him. Feel sorry. After watching it for a while, I can see that there is something tricky, and his expression seems to be different from the brother Dieter in his impression. Maybe it's a former friend. However, Listener didn't believe it so simply, and was going to find an opportunity to continue to inquire about the news. Maybe she could really find something. It's okay, it's my fault for not remembering you. Dieter's face was full of regret as if feeling deeply guilty for not recognizing listener. It doesn't matter, you have suffered outside these years. If you need help, just say it. Lucy was also concerned over there. Soon everyone else in the guild spoke up to comfort him. Seeing this, listener's mouth twitched. Her sisters Mira Jane and Urza were taken into her arms just like that. If the dieter in front of her was not the one she imagined, it would really make no sense. Let listener take you to a room to rest and wait until you feel better before doing the task. Mira Jane said. Dieter nodded. Listener over there also agreed and walked towards the back door with uniqueness. Out the back door. Listener turned her head to look at Dieter with burning eyes. Brother Dieter, why did you come to this world? A sister Mila and the others okay? Sister Listener, what are you talking about? What this world? Your sister Mila is fine? Why are you asking such a question? Dieter pretended to be puzzled. Answer her question seriously. The performance was so superb that Listener began to wonder if she was really thinking too much. Maybe the Dieter in front of him is really Dieter from the Edler's world. Act, then act. Fairy tale in Edler's world doesn't have you at all. I never remember. Listener continued to test. Dieter was even more strange. Sister Listener, are you feeling unwell? I'd better let your sister take me to a place to rest. You should pay attention to rest. Listener really believed it by seven or eight points. The dieter in front of him may really be different from what he imagined. I'm fine, I'll take you to see your resting room. Listener gave up completely. I thought that I would be able to see brother dieter again. But now it seems unlikely. After that, I am afraid that I will really have to live in this world. I am afraid that sister Mila and brother Elfman will never see each other. To the resting bedroom, dieter also felt strange when he looked at the leaked shop, and asked back. The kingdom is constantly chasing and killing our fairy tale. I really want to die with them, so that our guild can live a better life in the future. Don't be stupid, the royal army is very well equipped, 
and we can't deal with it at all. Listener persuaded, Dieter said nothing more. It is also unlikely that the fairy tale guild in Edler's world will resist. Equipment is indeed a very big problem, and it is indeed very difficult for a group of miscellaneous soldiers to defeat soldiers in divine suits. It seems that it is not easy to make fairy tale obedient. You're resting here, and you can go to the front yard to ask if you have anything. Listener also left after instructing. Only Dieter was left in the house. He sat on the bed and dragged his chin in thought. The fairy tale guild has been hiding for so many years, and it really does not dare to confront the royal army head on. It must find a way. Hey, annoying wow Tilda. Dieter lay down helplessly, looking at the dilapidated room and couldn't think of a good solution. If it's really useless for 1.1. Then I have to push it. Sweep the entire Redlers with unique and powerful strength. It may be a little tiring to push the past, but it is also a good way. Forget it, push it, Dieter thought for a long time, and finally made the decision to push. It is impossible to drive the entire fairy tale to resist together. The difference in equipment is the real difference. It's not like shouting, we are fairy tale wizards and we can explode unprecedented power. The two worlds are still somewhat different. Now I have to make other plans. Counting the time. Natsu and the others are coming soon. It's a rare opportunity to tease Natsu Wendy, Happy and Xiolulu. Dieter suddenly became playful. Acting must be serious and not give up halfway. Chapter 96, Goblin Hunter Erznet Vorka. While Dieter is resting in the fairy tale guild, Lucy also found a group of malicious people. Hey, which way are you? What are you trying to do by sneaking around here? Lucy crouched down and looked at Natsu and the others and questioned him. Everyone is so weird. Miss Lucy is also scary. Natsu and Wendy both took a few steps back in fear and they were also a little scared looking at the guild members who were completely different from their impressions. Huh? Natsu, Lucy stared at it from a close distance, and suddenly realized that he locked his waist and shouted. It turned out to be Natsu, you kid, what are you doing hiding so well, it scared me. This guy is Natsu, why are you dressed like this? It turned out to be Natsu, I thought someone else sneaked into our guild. The others in the guild were also relieved. If Dieter came first, then there would be a problem. Since it's Natsu, it's fine, Lucy said, Natsu. Where have you been running all these days? I'm so worried about you. Natsu said different. Wendy was also a little surprised. Sudden. Lucy was twisted and twisted for 25 Z, and his hands were drilled on his forehead. To be punished. Immediately, someone in the guild exclaimed, appeared. One of Lucy's 48 torture stunts. Drill and crush. Natsu-san. Natsu. Wendy and Happy exclaimed. The gentle and elegant Kana also smiled and helped. Don't bully him all the time, or it will be pitiful. Happy complained. It doesn't look like Kana at all. Elfman who looked at the guild, also continued to complain, and this side is even more extreme, and it doesn't look like Elfman at all. Then there was chaos. The changes in the guild made Wendy and others more and more confused, and they felt that there was a big difference from their impression. Lucy, you're bullying Natsu, that's okay Tilda. Just as Lucy was carrying Natsu to teach him a lesson, Lesnar walked in through the back door and lectured Lucy. At that moment Natsu froze. Happy also stared at Lesnar's figure. Lesnar. Natsu looked at the girl in front of him in disbelief. Impossible. Happy couldn't believe that Lesnar in front of him actually appeared. Lesnar. Lesnar. Happy and Natsu immediately jumped towards Lesnar, cheering. Don't think about it. Lucy immediately brought Natsu and Happy down with a high leg lift. He grabbed Natsu and said, When did you become such a beast? Because Lesnar is still alive, and the people are there. Natsu explained with a weeping voice. Lucy asked back. What the hell are you talking about? Why is Lesnar here? Happy wondered. Wendy said at this time, I remember Miss Mila's sister, didn't she have passed away long ago? Xia Lulu swept over everyone in the guild. This means that not everyone's personalities are reversed, Xia Lulu said. Wendy and Happy both look at her. Xia Lulu continued to explain, Mila is the same as usual, she hasn't changed at all, the most decisive key is there. Saying that, Xia Lulu pointed her finger at the blue-haired girl with an explosive figure in front of the commission bar. Wendy. Don't you think that little girl looks a bit like you? Have it? The overall feeling is really similar. After seeing the girl, Wendy said incredulously, Is that person me? Sweep the exploding figure. Wendy blushed. Why did she look like that? Xia Lulu said, This is not upside down at all, but completely different. Yes, these people are not the companions we are looking for at all. They are different people. They are the beginning. It's not impossible for people who live in Edelers, it's the same as the parallel world. Edelers has its own unique history and culture, so of course fairy tale may also exist. How come? This is the fairy tale that was originally in Edelers? Then where are our familiar companions? Natsu et al. were horrified. Just thinking about this kind of thing is horrifying. These people, these people with their familiar faces, are completely different from the people they know. It turned out to be Edelers' existing guild member. They're kind of weird. I don't know when. Dieter came to Lesnar's side and watched Natsu and others continue to act. Lesnar nodded, an unsure idea in her mind. However, because of Dieter's matter, she was not so anxious to make sure, and she would wait and see to understand. Dieter. Natsu also saw Dieter beside Lesnar. Immediately after calling out, he did not dare to continue speaking, 
because the dieter in front of him was probably the dieter of the Edler's world. Natsu is it? We should not be familiar with it. Play, then act. Dieter smiled cheerfully in his heart, but on the surface he pretended to be really unfamiliar. Brother Dieter may also be different from what we know, so it's better to leave quickly. Wendy whispered. Natsu and even Happy and Xialulu nodded and felt very right. As he spoke, he was ready to go outside. Boom. At this time, Nobu pushed open the door of the guild and immediately shouted to the people. It's the Goblin Hunter, the Goblin Hunter is here. Shock. All the guild members widened their eyes in shock. Which cat, where do you want to go? It's dangerous outside. Damn it, is this place already exposed? Those people in the kingdom are going to hunt us down again, and things are going to be tricky now. The panic in the guild was noticed by Natsu and the others. Kingdom people? Happy asked. Xialulu said, they should be the ones who sent us out. Happy said in disbelief, are we two enemies of fairy tale? The guild was in chaos. Dieter, on the other hand, was a little squeamish. Uh, as a networker, this is a rare opponent, what will happen if you kill her in 573? Dieter shook his head quickly. Now I can't shoot casually, and if I shoot, I won't see the famous scene of Urza vs Urza. Chi. I'm really unconvinced to just leave like this. Dieter thought about it a lot, but was very unhappy at the thought that he still needed to retreat. Take steps towards the door. Dieter what are you doing? Come back quickly, the teleportation magic will be ready soon and we can leave soon. Mira Jane immediately scolded Dieter when she saw this, and Yannick stood at the door, adjusted his mood and started acting. He pretended to be apologetic and said, I'm sorry everyone, but I didn't wander into the guild unintentionally, but was chased by the goblin hunter. I'm sorry to reveal everyone's whereabouts unintentionally. After saying this, Dieter took a deep breath and put on a smile, it's too late, I'm willing to use my life to resist the enemy, you all run away. The voice fell and Dieter walked out of the guild gate leaving everyone behind. Everyone in the guild was a little lost. Idiot, you are a fairy tale person, life or death, this is your home, come back, we can leave, Mira Jane called. Listener also persuaded immediately, yeah, come in quickly, we will successfully teleport. However, Dieter's back trembled slightly. A bleak smile leaked out, you treat me as family, so I shouldn't be sorry for you. Don't worry, I will try my best to live. After speaking, Dieter rushed into the woods and disappeared before his eyes. Sing. Chapter 97 Dieter vs. Urza Networker, boom dash, the guild teleports away, Urza Networker, who was riding the giant monster, swooped in the air, teleportation gone, Urza Networker said, the captain of the fourth demon war force, huge boy, wore pink armor, and exhaled in a nasal voice, teleportation magic, right, to use that kind of magic that wastes magic power, this kind of dark guild is really mind blowing, Urza Networker stood on top of the giant monster and said, Sugga boy, you're here too, huge boy spread his hands helplessly and said, really, these goblins are fascinated very quickly. Flying around like flies, it's an eyesore, as a networker said. It's a pity this time, goblin hunter, but the number of times that group of guys can teleport is running out. It's just a matter of time until they are hunted, said huge boy. And as a networker replied with a smile, no, it's not a pity, I didn't wipe out the entire army, but I also encountered a single one. Are you still going to hide, a member of the fairy tale guild? Huge boy also looked into the forest on the side. Hide, Dieter came out of the woods glanced at Huggerboy and Erda Networker and shook their heads with a smile, where did you see that I was hiding instead of waiting for you? Stretching, Dieter prepares to move. Although acting is cool, you need to be very vigilant to prevent your words from being revealed. And now that the people watching the show have left, there is no need to continue the show, and the next step is hunting. Unscrupulous kill, huh? When did the members of the Dark Guild dare to confront the Royal Army? Aren't you fairy tales or a group of rats in the sewer? You can only hide? Huge Boy replied with a smile. Om. Um. When Huggerboy said fairy tale was rat in the sewer, Dieter's overlord color was released instantly. That powerful aura instantly enveloped Dieter's entire body. A little bit dash. The swaying body of the tree, the branches cracked with cracks. The gravel on the ground was shaken by the terrifying momentum, and slowly floated up and suspended within the range of Dieter's overlord color. They are young in the sky dissipated in fear. That moment, Huge Boy and Erda Networker's faces changed dramatically. Puff, the form of vomited blood when he was shocked by the sudden momentum, and his face paled in disbelief and raised his arm to wipe the blood from the corner of his mouth. The look at Data was terrifying. Terror towering into the sky, the stalwart figure cannot be looked directly at the king. That kind of aura gave him the feeling that he was facing God, more terrifying than the God of Magic. What exactly is this? Dot, Sugger Boy couldn't keep his indifferent smile any longer and clenched his teeth as he watched dieters questioning in fear. And Urza Networker didn't even have time to talk to Sugar Boy. At this moment, she endured the terrifying momentum again and again, and at the same time was driving the giant beast under her feet. The giant beast was so frightened that it couldn't stand up stably, and it could fall down any time, anywhere, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hee <laughs> hee, a beast still wants to fight against me, 
but I can't. Dieter was a little weird to see that the giant beast didn't vomit blood or jeer for the first time, but he quickly increased his aura against it again. An even more terrifying deterrent burst out in an instant. Roar. The beast roared miserably. Boom. The body can no longer maintain rationality, and uses the body to shake constantly. In the end, Xinch fell to the ground unbearably. Who are you? I as a networker stared at Dieter questioningly with a shock. Who I am? Dieter maintained a domineering aura, enveloped Hugboy and Erza Networker, and approached them with a playful smile. I'm an S-class wizard from Fairy Tale in Island, Dieter answered proudly. Both Hugboy and Erza Networker have dilated pupils as Dieter. Are you afraid? Dieter narrowed his eyes to see the two of them. I don't care what you do, but you should never say Fairy Tale is a fly, a rat in the ditch. Are you ready to die? Dieter's voice was not high but it was terrifying in the ears of two people. They didn't expect that the mages in the world of Island would have such strength, but they actually made their bodies tremble. The kind of powerful deterrent that cannot be competed with. Uh, uh kill him. Xugboy immediately roared. His body was about to be unable to hold up. The deterrent force was too strong, and he even vomited blood, which caused a serious injury to his vitality, and he was almost kneeling at the moment. What? As a networker growled. Ten ring guns. The spear in his hand instantly transformed into a two-handed sword and slashed towards Dieter. Too slow. Dieter shook his head in disappointment, moving his feet slightly. The two-handed sword fell against Dieter's clothes. And the unique body is also quite close to Urza networker. You are defeated. Dieter's voice was quiet. One-handed claws instantly grabbed Urza's throat and slammed it towards the ground. Brown. Boom. Ahem. The ground was smashed and Dieter's palms were stained with blood from Erza Networker's cough. The latter stared at Dieter's unwavering eyes in horror. How come? How could he be so powerful? Erza Networker couldn't believe that as a goblin hunter and the captain of the Royal Army's second demon warfare unit, she was defeated by a single move. Why is the power of the two worlds so huge? As one of the most powerful individual soldiers in the kingdom's army, she was unexpectedly defeated by this person. Erza, are you kidding me? Over there, Hugboy roared pulling out the rose sword from his waist and slashing towards Dieter. There is not much difference in the strength of the captains of the kingdom's demonic forces, but as the captain of the fourth demonic forces, he knows the strength of Erza Networker. Such a powerful man was defeated in one move. Sugarboy, Dieter's body twisted flexibly, watching the sword shadows that Sugarboy kept slashing out easily to dodge. You're useless to me, so go to hell, Dieter said. After avoiding the sword shadow again, Dieter reached forward with one hand, just sticking to the pink armor of Hugaboy. His face changed into a disdainful smile. Huge boy, run. Erza Networker in the pit in the ground immediately exclaimed when he saw that smile. She also held back her physical discomfort and threw the weapon at Dieter. Armed color release. Six types of profound truth. Biggest wheel. Six kings spear. Dash. Peng. The fully released six kings spear generated a huge shock wave, coupled with the release ability of the weapon color rising to level 7, it instantly blasted into the body of Sugarboy. His body was ignited by the shockwave at that moment. Blast, ding, and Dieter immediately covered his body with a weapon color to block the sharp sword thrown by Erza Networker. The smell of blood permeated the entire woods. Dieter picked up Erza Networker's sword from the ground, walked in front of her, raised his foot and stepped on her, the blade stroking her neck. Your heart is beating fast, and it looks like you're scared of Erza, the goblin hunter, Dieter quipped. Erza Networker struggled. But how could Dieter let her go and force her feet again? A Hilda. Pain. A sharp pain came out of Erza Networker's mouth. She was very pale. The body is very uncomfortable, and is shocked by the powerful momentum, and there is a more terrifying force that continues to enter the body and destroy the internal organs. Scary. Scary. The cold light on the blade warned her that she would be beheaded at any time. The fairy tale guild has a woman who is exactly like you. Her name is Erza Scarlet. She is much stronger than you in terms of charm and spirit. Dieter said. As a networker sneered, then she must be your comrade, with the exact same face, is your hand. Kill me. Ah, Dieter sneered. He crouched down and pinched her face to play with a taste. Urza is my woman, but you know me, and I know your relationship, so of course I can't do it. Ah, then you're out of luck, she's turned into a waste crystal. As a networker laughed. Dieter shook his head and threw the sword to the ground. Put away the awe-inspiring aura of the overlord turned around and left. I want to see a play. This play is Urza Networker versus Urza Scarlet. I hope you perform well. If you let me down, you're dead. I'm going to kill your king next. See you later. Gah. Dieter's figure suddenly disappeared. Urza Networker's face was ashen with anger. With difficulty, he got up from the ground, put away his weapon, and came to the huge monster to help check the injury. I'm in a very bad mood. That guy, too powerful. No. Chapter 98. Urza Networker's fear. Thanks to the monthly ticket of the Black and Not Afraid of Japan. Thank you. Far away, Dieter moved forward leisurely. Kill Urza Networker. To be honest, even if he knew that the two were in different worlds, he still couldn't do it. The one called Hugaboy was killed, but Urza Networker could only give up. Now that Dieter's strength has been strengthened again and again, his strength has surpassed that of the Holy Ten Sorcerers by a lot. 
so it would be a shame if he couldn't beat her as a networker or a huge boy. Conservative estimates, the unique feeling is that other than Zera for Black Dragon, other opponents are unlikely to be defeated. Of course, not losing and being beaten are two different things. If you run into some of the twelve shields of the Guardian, you may have to run away. But Data didn't care. With the blessing of Goldfinger, he has been growing, and there may be more terrifying abilities to open in the future. The capital of Edelas, Urza Netvorka flew back in a woeful way in the beast. That's amazing, Urza. Hughes, the captain of the Third Magic War Corps, came to greet him immediately, and just about to say a few words about the huge magic crystal, he found that Urza Netvorka was not in a good state. Urza, what's wrong with you? You look so embarrassed. What about Hughes? Hughes asked hastily. Cough cough. Urza Netvorka held the wall in embarrassment, looked over at Hughes and said, I want to meet King 607 of the country and the matter about the magic crystal needs to be discussed in the long run. What more need to be said, with this magic crystal, the magic of our world will be multiplied, Hughes said. Urza Networker did not respond directly and walked towards the palace where the king was. Sugarboy was killed. Killed in one move. I was defeated in one move. That man dot 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 that man is too powerful. Urza Networker's voice was hateful. Dieter's smile was still echoing in his mind, and he didn't take her seriously from beginning to end. It's like seeing weak ants. The kind of eyes that don't care and never put her in his eyes. What? Houston was shocked, staring at her as a networker in disbelief. Sugar boy dead? Being beaten to death by a single move, who has that kind of strength, especially when as a networker is around? One-sided defeat? Even the super powerful as a networker was defeated in one move. How is it possible here? Absolutely impossible, CFBB. Hughes couldn't believe it easily, and rushed in front of her as a networker in a somewhat anxious tone, blocking her way. Urza, what you said just now is false right? You and Huge Boy were acting together, and someone even killed one. You are so powerful that you are not an opponent? Hughes questioned. It's impossible to think about such a thing. Urza's sword is very powerful, super powerful, and Hug Boy's strength is almost the same. They were actually killed. One move? Urza Networker pushed Hughes away angrily, gritted his teeth and then moved on. There was panic in his tone, that man is so powerful that he has never felt despair, let alone me. Even the commander of the kingdom's army can't possibly be an opponent. After talking about Dieter's horror, Urza Networker said, The next goal of that man is the king, and he must protect the king, or he will die. Will die? What will die? Urza Networker, why do you look so ugly? In front of him, Ponslili heard Urza Networker's words and stepped forward curiously, looking at her very puzzled. Ponslili, Urza Networker said hello by name. Pangslili nodded and continued to ask, Didn't you and Hugboy go hunting goblins? Why is your face so ugly? And why didn't Hugboy come with you? Urza Networker gritted his teeth and stated, Sugboy and I found the fairy tale station, but they were teleported away in time. But where did we meet a terrible man? She had an ugly look on her face when she spoke of Dieter. Possilily asked, Scary man? Didn't you bring him? Maybe he knows where fairy tale will teleport. Bring it here? Urza Networker wanted to laugh, and sneered after hearing Pangsarelli's words. I want to take it too, but because of this thought, Huge Boy was killed by that man in one move. You will die in one move. That kind of horror you can never imagine, even if I can't keep up with his speed at all, I was also defeated by one move. How do you think I got back? Escape? Of course not, we didn't even have the strength to escape in the hands of that man, I was spared by him pity. Ah, that man is so scary. I've never seen such a terrible person before, that guy's strength is beyond imagination. Possarelli was also stunned when he saw Urza Networker, who was gradually losing his mind. Among the captains of the royal army. Urza Networker was not weaker than him. Such a strong and confident person was beaten out of proportion, and now he is even more afraid of constantly telling the other parties terror. What a blow this is to take. Urza Networker, calm down. Possa really looked at Urza Networker, who was getting out of control. Urza Networker took a deep breath, tried not to imagine Dieter's strength, and then continued to say, That's right, now we have to pass the king, let him pay attention to safety. That terrible man said he would kill the king, with his strength. Each of us will be opponents. Hughes and Bonds Lily also cheered up a lot after hearing the words. Urza Networker is so scary that you can't even imagine the existence. I really want to try it myself. And Hughes clenched the baton in his hand and said, Come on, come on. I believe it must be very interesting. Urza Networker just sneered at the change of the two. I'm looking forward to. Want to try your hand at it? Really feel as ignorant. That man is definitely scarier than you want to see. As you please. Urza Networker was disdainful, and she even went to explain and persuade the two of them. Since they are so self-sufficient then simply wait for them to regret it. The strength of that man will definitely make these two guys have no chance to beg for mercy. The naive ants will only be immersed in their own ignorant world. Hope that Urza isn't too strong. Urza Networker was also worried when he thought of the man's words before he left. The chance for her to live lies in that Urza. As long as she catches the exact same woman, she can not only live, but also make that man regret what he did before. Chapter 99 
two mirogens together. Dot 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 he he Leon City, sign in, sign in, you sign in for me. The circular architectural style is also unique, and the resting hotel is unique. Hey, it doesn't look like every city can sign in. Diet aside, enter Edelers and sign in successfully. After arriving at the Fairy Tale Guild, he successfully signed in again. He thought he could continue to sign in when he arrived in other cities, but he thought too much. The place Edelers can sign in should be a place that has some meaning. Obviously, Luen was not among them. Um, suddenly, Dieta was a little different. He felt a familiar aura within the range of his perception. Gajil, that breath is Gajil. Dieta jumped out of the hotel windows. It's time for acting again, in a small alley. Okay, where should I start? I think it's the fastest way to ask someone else. Gajil is wondering what to do. Hello Gajil, I have some inside information and I hope you, the most well-informed reporter, can help me expose. Dieta walked across the road towards the small alley, came to Gajil's side and whispered cautiously. Huh? Dieta. You're here too. Gajil was also a little surprised when he saw the person. He didn't expect Dieter to come to Edelers, so things would be much easier. Um, Dieter's face was full of doubts, and Gajil couldn't help but said, You know me? I'm just an ordinary citizen, how could you know me? Gajil was a little stunned. Instantly understood, maybe the Dieter in front of me is Dieter of Edelers world? He suddenly wanted to punch Dieter. The guild's Dieter is too strong to beat, but the Edelers world's Dieter should be easy to deal with. Gajil laughed out loud. The corner of Dieter's mouth twitched slightly, this Gajil was thinking something bad. Should I find two excuses to beat him up again when I go back? Gajil took a deep breath just as he was about to speak harshly, when he suddenly felt that Dieter's scent was very familiar. Familiar to the point of being unfamiliar. Suddenly Gajil's face was ugly, thinking that the Dieter in front of him was definitely the same person he knew, and he deliberately pretended that Dieter from the Edelers world came to ask for trouble. Get sick, Gajil thought so. This Dieter is somewhat ill and likes to pretend to be a stranger when he has nothing to do. If it weren't for the body mechanism, I'd be out of luck. He scolded Dieter in his heart. Okay, stop pretending, I don't even have to look carefully to see the sentimentality in you. Gajil pierced him. Dieter was stunned. Then I remembered that Gajil could use magic after taking pills, and at the same time, the dragon's sense of smell was also very sensitive, and he could definitely distinguish between true and false identities. But can Dieter admit it? Gajil, what are you talking about? Aren't you a reporter? How did you turn into a puppy and ask about the smell of others? Dieter denied. Revenge. Absolutely revenge. When Gajil heard Dieter's description, he knew that this guy definitely saw the idea of that he wanted to do something, and would deliberately take revenge. When are you going to pretend, the rest of the guild is going to be completely magical? Gajil said. Dieter laughed. Have to. Now it seems that the idea of playing a wave of Gajil is impossible. Ha ha. Dieter smiled and patted Gajil's shoulder in praise. Thanks to you, Natsu and Wendy. Happy and Xilulu couldn't tell at all, and thought I was Dieter from the Edelers world. Gajil's mouth twitched. Dieter is poisonous, and cheating is quite addictive. However, I finally heard the good news. I didn't expect that the Fire Dragon and the Heavenly Dragon were also there. Where are they? I give them something that can use magic after eating. Gajil asked hurriedly. Dieter frowned and shook his head. I wanted to meet the guilds in this world before. Later, the Royal Army of the Hunting Guild appeared. I took the initiative to come out and talk to them. The guild directly used teleportation magic to leave. It is estimated that they will go to Leon City in the next few days, Dieter said. After hearing the fight, Gajil was also a little curious. Fight? I don't know how it feels. Are there any very strong opponents? Dieter nodded. As far as I know, there are only four people in this world with extraordinary combat power. They are the four captains of the Demon War Force, and I met Erza Networker. The captain of the second Demon War Force. I didn't expect it. Urza is the enemy in this world. Gajil scoffs. So you lost? Of course. No, I met the second and fourth captains. I killed the fourth and released Urza, mainly because I wanted to see Urza versus Urza, so I didn't touch her, Dieter explained. Dot 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 for flowers. Gajil was also curious to hear this. The fight between the two Urzas seemed really interesting. He he. Dieter laughed suddenly, and said, as far as I know, the captain of the first demon war force is called Pangzalili, and he is a cat, just like Happy and Xialulu. What? Suddenly Gajil's eyes lit up. Cat. Before I came to this world, I planned to find a cat, but I couldn't find it. Now it's really an opportunity. Where is he? Gajil can't wait to catch it. The captain of the first demonic battle force. As soon as he heard it, he knew that the fight was very powerful, and he was worthy of the iron dragon. Dot. In the capital of the kingdom, including the magic crystal, I was planning to go to the capital and I found you here by chance, Dieter said. Gajil nodded in satisfaction. Now that we have all the clues, the next step is to go to Goju, and then we will be able to find people and cats. The bottle containing the pills was taken out of the body and handed directly to Dieter. This pill allows us to use magic power. Natsuwendi will exchange it for you. I will go directly to the capital, and see you in the capital then. After speaking, Gajil trotted away, 
for fear that Dieter would steal his cat. Dieter laughed. At the same time, he rubbed his chin and muttered, so Natsu and Wendy will use their magic power soon, so they don't need to sneak into the capital, they can just break through. Once the pills are in hand, Natsu and Wendy will soon be back on their magic. According to Natsu's temperament, it is impossible to follow Xialulu's plan and sneak into the capital, but he will force a way out. On the other hand, it can also prevent Wendy from being extracted from the dragon slaying magic. Just push hard, there are not many opponents to fight anyway. Diet compromised. Although it is very interesting to act in front of people from two worlds, there is no such thing as a banquet in the world. Always leave when it's time to leave. Hey, it would be great if the follow-up system could open up the gold finger leading to the two worlds, but this possibility is probably very small. Diet felt sorry. Two worlds, two urges, two mirrogens together. Hey hey. Chapter 100, Fairy Tale Always Hunts Others. Destroy impossible fantasies. Dieter took the vial back to the hotel and waited for Natsu and the others to arrive. A certain cafe. Ah ha 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 tilde. Ha 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 tilde. Bang bang bang. Lucy Ash Hariah Vedler's world slapped the table wildly and laughed. Are you saying that I'm writing a novel, and I'm still a young lady, using the magic of keys? Ha 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 tilde. Natsu continued, it's the same thing about being noisy though. Lucy complained, don't say I'm noisy. The two continued to communicate, over coffee and talking about Edlers, about the use and limitations of magic. I found it. Quickly block the entrance and exit of the city. Sudden, a group of soldiers of the royal army surrounded them. Without saying a word, he rushed towards several people, trying to arrest them. It's just right, I'm here to try the magic I just got. I'm about to go. Natsu didn't read it at all. He lifted up the flame sword he brought in his hand and pressed the switch. An incomparably powerful flame spewed out from the sword and drowned towards the soldiers of the kingdom army. Huh? The flames flashed past, and the raging flames on the sharp blade in his hand began to dissipate. Shield? Damn it, do it again. Natsu said and used the sharp blade again, but this time, no flames spewed out. Didn't I say that magic power is limited here? So all magic has a fixed number of uses, Lucy Ash Harai reminded. Natsu angrily complained, can this only be used once? As long as you know how to adjust the firepower, you can use it a hundred times, idiot. Lucy Aksu 607 inches was speechless. Those soldiers wouldn't give them a chance. Rush at Natsu and the others with a weapon. It's over, Happy shouted in panic. Wendy, on the other hand, continued to be realistic with the magic item in her hand. How do I use this? She twisted the props in her hands constantly. Break. All of a sudden, the magic tool in his hand opened, and a mass of magic power was released. The wind blows, surrounding Natsu and the others. He slowly floated up. Hugh. Wow. Before he could speak, the tornado carried everyone to the distance. Boom. A large amount of dust was stirred up in a building not far away. Dieter, who was resting in the hotel, was also awakened by the noise. Confused, he looked out the window, seeing and hearing the color release instantly enveloped the restless direction and began to perceive. Hey, Natsu and the others have already arrived. I thought we would have to wait until tomorrow or a few days later. It seems that we don't need it anymore. Dieta said differently. After packing up, I checked out and walked in the direction of Natsu. Soldiers of the Royal Army patrol the streets. Try to find the figure of Natsu and others. Inside a circular room, Lucy Ashley looked out through the cracked hole in the wooden door. After confirming that the soldier left, he breathed a sigh of relief. Although we have escaped. We may not be able to escape this city. Natsu was speechless. The magic here is really inconvenient. Several people stayed silent. I want to wait and see if I can find an opportunity to escape. Found its fairy tales man. Sudden. The soldiers outside suddenly shouted, which shocked Natsu and the others. But then a female voice sounded. Let go of me. I'm not the same Lucy you know. Why are you holding me? Natsu several people are curious. He secretly opened the door and looked outside. It's Lucy. It's me. Both Natsu and Lucy Asherai said different things. Happy is weird. Why is Lucy here? Outside, Lucy Hartfilia struggled with the arm that was grabbed by the soldier and said, Really, it hurts me. Just go to her, Natsu said and rushed out of the room, ready to rescue Lucy. Seeing that these soldiers did not let go, Lucy Hartfilia had to take out the key, open it, the door of Scorpio. Wendy in the room immediately reminded, Sister Lucy, you can't use magic in this world. Scorpion, sudden, Scorpio Celestial Spirit Scorpion appears, immediately stunned. Natsu Wendy and others. Sandbuster. The sand attacks bursts out of scorpion scorpion tail. Defeat the soldiers in front of you. It's magic. Why? Natsu and Wendy are confused. How can Lucy use magic? Over there, Lucy Hartfilia also saw Natsu, and immediately ran over with a smile. Everyone, I miss you so much. At this time, Lucy Asherai, who was behind Natsu, appeared. Suddenly stunned Lucy Hartfilia. It's me. Soon Natsu explained the two Lucy things. Lucy Ashley said in surprise, could this guy be from Esland? This is me in Edelos? Lucy Hartfilia said. The scene got weird. Found there. The soldiers soon formed an encirclement again. Xia Lulu hurriedly said, I'll talk about it later. If you don't run away, you'll be caught. Lucy Hartfilia patted the small waist and pointed at the soldiers. Natsu, 
Get rid of them quickly. How to solve it? Natsu was speechless. Do you need to ask that? With your magic, of course. Lucy Hartfilia said. Natsu complained. The few of us can't use magic. It should be said. Why can you use magic? How do I know? Could it be that I'm the strongest human pendant right now? Lucy Hartfilia returned to his senses. Open it up, Mrs. Rubber. Lucy took out the key and was ready to attack. Suddenly, a long arm stretched out from the roof not far away and surrounded several people. Huh? What is this? An arm? Natsu what is this? Several people asked incomprehensibly. Suddenly the arm tightened violently, and a huge force searched them out. And at the end of that arm is a person. Dieter. Huh? Dieter of Edelers or Dieter of Osland? Is it Brother Dieter? When several people saw the person, they suddenly called out in doubt. Dieter kept jumping on the house, turning his head to say hello, kiss. I didn't expect you to come to us land, Natsu and Lucy. After speaking, he turned to Lucy Asherai of Edelers and immediately entered the role of acting. Hello, Lucy Asherai of Edelers. I met Dieter of Edelers world before. I know something about you. It's an honor to meet you, Dieter acted. Lucy Ashley said something different, looked at the arms around his waist and muttered, hello but your arms are a bit weird. Ehilda. Natsu struggled unhappily. Why both Unique and Lucy can use magic, but I can't use it. It's so uncomfortable. Yes, Dieter-san can use magic too. What the hell is going on? Wendy Happy and Xia Lulu were also a little confused. Dieter smiled and replied. These things will be discussed later. Let's leave Lune City first. Ga. After he finished speaking, Dieter instantly used cut to distance himself from the group of soldiers, then moon step, and then used it again take people directly to the sky to walk forward. It's amazing, this is the magic of the Island world. It can even make people walk in the air. Lucy Ash her eye surprise. It was also surprising to see the ground that was getting smaller and smaller. In the woods, Dieter brought people here before landing. It should be fine to escape this far, Dieter said. Several people sat down and chatted. How did you come to Edelers, Lucy? Why didn't you turn into a magic crystal? Natsu asked. Wendy also explained. We always thought that Sister Lucy would also become a magic crystal and we have been worried about you. Hearing the question, Lucy Hartfilia explained, it was Horologium and Mystigan who saved me. Horologium sensed the guild's fluctuations and automatically came out of the celestial spirit world to save me. Later, Mystigan explained the world of Anima and Edelers to me. Send me in. After listening to Lucy Hartfilia's explanation, both Natsu and Wendy nodded their understanding. He looked at Dieter again and asked, Dieter, where have you been during this time? Myra and Urza are looking for you. They are in the guild every day. But no one dares to fight in the guild. They are both amazing. Yeah, Erzo and Miss Mila have been in a very bad mood these days to find Brother Dieter, and the president can't do anything about it. Wendy also said. Dieter also laughed when he heard their words. I took the initiative to ask Mr. Gunn to send me on a tour, but I didn't expect Anima to involve everyone in this world. Dieter explained casually. Hey, Lucy Ashley asked at this time, Dieter. Why are you wearing the same clothes as Dieter in our guild? You, Lucy Ashley now suspects that there is something wrong with the Dieter in front of him. And Natsu and Wendy and Happy and Xialulu also felt that Dieter was hiding something from them. Hear this question. Dieter's eyes also dimmed, and he continued to act in a heavy tone. Dead. I found Dieter dying in the woods, and I talked to him a lot. He is a very good person. In order not to worry you guys in the guild, I hope I can find you and quit the guild so that you don't know that he is dead. Silence. Now both Natsu and Edelers Lucy believe it. Dieter in Edelers world chooses to fight with a goblin hunter to cover the guild's escape, and sacrifice is also normal. Why can Unique and Lucy use magic? At this time, the happy story is brought up again. Lucy Hartfilia's eyes bloomed with little stars. Could it be that I am the legendary warrior? Lucy, stop dreaming. Dieter broke Lucy Hartfilia's fantasy and took out the vial. Because of this, huh? I remember Mr. Gun seems to have been eaten by me. After getting the pills in the small bottle, Lucy Hartfilia said quickly. Natsu and Wendy also looked. Dieter explained. This pill was given to Gajil by Mystigan, and then Gajil gave it to me. Yes, Gajil is also in this world and can also use magic, and has now gone to the capital for a rescue operation. The purpose of this pill is to use magic, but due to the limited magic power in Edelo's world, only the magic power in the body can be used, remember to use it sparingly. After listening, ignore the first half of the sentence. Both Natsu and Wendy were locked in Dieter's hands, with their bright A's. I said. Do you really want to go to war with the kingdom? Lucy Asherai asked. Natsu answered without hesitation. It goes without saying that this is also to save his companions. And Dieter felt that proper persuasion would have a great effect. Sort out the language and say, is there any choice other than resistance? Blindly escaping is just perishing. From this aspect, fairy tale in your Edelers world doesn't deserve this guild name at all. Lucy Asherai did not refute, but squeezed his fists and clenched his teeth. The royal army has four captains of the demon war forces. Their strength is outstanding, and they are definitely not something you can deal with. Hearing this, Dieter shook his head immediately. He raised three fingers and explained, not four kisses, only three, 
and the captain of the fourth demon war force, huge boy, has been killed by me. Shock. Lucy Ashley's arm and eyes widened, staring at the unique in disbelief. It seems that he has not yet reacted to his words. Lucy Hartfilia, Natsu Happy and others also looked at Dieter. Could there have been a fight before? Sugarboy said Fairy Tail is the stinky rat in the sewer, and all who tainted Fairy Tail 1.1's guild should be damned. Dieter grinned. Then he added, or I can't say there are three more, I should say there are two more. The Goblin Hunter Urza Networker was also punched by me. But I wanted to see the two Urza fight, so I let her go. Life. Very scary. Two Urza. I'm on fire. Dieter gives me the pill. I'm going to fight. Brother Dieter, I also want to see two Urza girls fight. Several people exclaimed. Just thinking about the scene where two Urzas are fighting is terrifying. And Lucy Ashley couldn't believe it. The goblin hunter who hunted them for so many years was actually defeated by Dieter in front of him. Is the royal army really that strong? Dieter continued. It was understandable for you to flee in the past, but now that we are here, as members of the fairy tale guild, how can we accept others to hunt? We have always hunted others. Throw a few pills out of the bottle and let Natsu and the others eat them. Boom. The hot and fiery flames erupted instantly. Flames burned on Natsu's body. His eyes turned into dragon eyes and he said, Yeah, there's no reason to be hunted. The momentum is getting stronger. Lucy Asharai is also passionate. Yes. How did the fairy tale guild accept the ending of being hunted by others? After a night of recuperation and departure for the capital tomorrow, it's time to make a scene. Let the majesty of the fairy tale guild spread to every corner of the Edler's world. Dieter put away the small bottle and said confidently. Lucy Asharai's eyes were also full of fire, and he had already made a decision in his heart. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.